Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. Start in Hunter x Hunter. Indestructible I am the strongest. Chapter 1. Some unknown pure white space. An invisible figure stared at a ball in his hand and said nothing for a long time. He is the existence that people call God, Allah, or the truth in this world. But rather than these titles, he is more willing to call himself a planet consciousness, Gaia. After staring for a long time, Gaia decided to put it into the planet. The planet is dying. Gaia had noticed a long time ago that something similar to a virus was born on the planet. These viruses have been lurking in the interior of the planet and constantly gnawing at the life force of the planet. Although Gaia was determined to remove these viruses, he was never able to find them. Now we can only count on this ball that appeared with the virus. At first, he thought it was just an ordinary ball, but because it appeared at the same time as the virus, Gaia took it, hoping to see something. Following Gaia's research, he discovered that this sphere was not ordinary. It can replicate all forms and transform into all things in the world. Now Gaia finally decided to put it on this land and make some observations, maybe this is the turning point of this planet, maybe. As Gaia released his hand, the ball slowly fell down under the action of gravity. However, just as the ball was about to fall on the ground, it came into contact with a small stone. The space around the sphere was actually distorted, and the sphere was sucked into it. Gaia, who had been staring at the ball, couldn't help but have a humanized look of consternation on his face. In the next second, he came to the place where the space was distorted just now. Looking at the empty ground, he was silent for a long time. Meteor Street The land area is approximately equal to the Rabbinic Republic. Meteor Street was already a waste dump 1500 years ago. Officially, this is a no-man's land, so even if a baby is abandoned here, there is no need to register national numbers, physical data, etc. Discarding anything here will be tolerated. Trash, weapons, corpses, babies. Whatever the world abandons, the inhabitants here will receive it all. Living in this special environment naturally produced a lot of masters. The residents here rely on the collection and recycling of waste to make a living, and the underworlders provide them with heavy metals and weapons, and at the same time attract these naturally violent talents. We don't reject anything, but don't even think about taking anything from us. In a place like Meteor Street, the most important thing is death and blood, whether it is for internal personnel or external personnel. At this time, a new round of conflict was being staged on a garbage dump in Meteor Street. You fools of the Fonobi family. Are you provoking a war with our Nasla family? A man in a standard underworld suit was clutching the gunshot wound on his right shoulder and gnashing his teeth at the other. On the other hand, the man who was also wearing a black suit was looking at him with a playful expression and said. Ha ha ha, just your newly born trash family, what qualifications do you have to start a war with our Fabino family? The man leading the Fonobi family laughed recklessly. It's just a newly born little family who wants to sneak to Meteor Street to buy people. Is it going to provoke the status of our Fonobi family? Gambi Town only needs a voice, kill them for me. He waved, and the group of younger brothers with machine guns behind him immediately pulled the trigger. The members of the Nasla family could only cry in despair when they saw the absolute suppression of firepower. No matter the number or firepower, the Nasla family is not as good as the Fonobi family, not to mention that the other party is still ambushed deliberately. After a while of gunpowder smoke, the Fonobi family wiped out the Nasla family without any suspense. Who, before leaving, the man headed by the Fonobi family spit on the corpse of the Nasla family. Their Fonobi family had been in charge of Gambi Town as early as 60 years ago, and they had always been the local emperor of Gambi Town. Any local power must submit to their rule. Unexpectedly, the Nasla family, which has only been established for a year or two, dared to secretly go to Meteor Street to buy personnel, and it was successful. If it weren't for the fact that the Fonobi family had been cooperating with the sixth elders of Meteor Street, the other party would have informed him immediately. It is really possible that Nasla successfully brought back the people from Meteor Street. Although Nasla succeeded in bringing back the people from Meteor Street, he did not think that he would be able to shake the rule of the Fonobi family, but it was a provocation after all. In the underworld world, force is never the most important thing. The most important thing is face. Force is only an auxiliary means to maintain face. However, 
Just the second after the Fanobi family left, the space above the corpse of a handsome young man with pure white hair and the corpse of the Nasla family suddenly appeared distorted. Immediately after that, an illusory ball appeared on the boy's chest with starting points and then submerged into the boy's body. This is one of the people Nasla bought from the three elders of Meteor Street. Hey, it hurts. Lin Mo felt a burst of pain all over his body, as if he was put into a sack and beaten. Also, it stinks. This is the second thing Lin Mo perceives besides pain. It's like putting rotten rat meat into a big vat and then adding feces and stinky water from the sewer to ferment. The stench was completely unreasonable, rushing straight into the nose. Lin Mo really wanted to pinch his nose if he could, but at this time he couldn't. It should be said that at this moment he can't even move a finger. Obviously, his brain is extremely awake, but he can't move his whole body, and he can't even open his eyelids. It's like encountering a ghost pressing the bed while sleeping. What's the matter? I'm not in the hotel. Why is it like I'm being tied up and beaten and thrown into the sewer? Could it be that the lady yesterday has the owner? Lin Mo had no idea why he came here, and his last memory was only smoking on the balcony of the hotel after a fight with one of his patients in the hotel. Lin Mo is a psychiatrist. With his handsome face and extreme control over his psychology, his private life has always been chaotic. That's not right, that young lady should be single. Could it be that a fish in her pond found it out of anger? Lin Mo is very confident in his professional skills, he doesn't believe that little sister can hide from him. Just as Lin Mo was thinking, a huge memory suddenly emerged in his mind. Such a huge shock of information caused Lin Mo's brain to crash in an instant and fainted again. And Lin Mo's body that was originally blood-stained and full of bullet holes seemed to activate some kind of instinct after Lin Mo passed out. After all the wounds were twisted and twisted for a while, all the bullets still stuck in the body were discharged, and they recovered in an instant. Asterisk. Get out of the way. This place is covered by us, and everyone else will get out of my way. The conflict between the two families of Nasra and Fanobi caused such a big movement that a group of hyenas from Meteor Street were already guarding the periphery of the battlefield. After confirming that the Fanobi family had completely left, the group of hyenas began to swarm to snatch the remains of the Nasla family. Clothes, weapons, and even flesh. There are valuable things in Meteor Street. However, before they could get close, there was a rough voice. Hearing this, a group of hyenas could not help but stop approaching. The hyenas who have been wandering in this area should not be too familiar with this barbarian. One of them also looked at the big meal in front of him unwillingly, and turned back and shouted at the tall voice, Uvijin. Can you eat such a big meal alone? Uvijin grinned, a cruel light flashing in his eyes. Ha ha ha, what's the matter? Do you have any opinions? Then let's have a fight, everyone who has opinions should join us. As he said that, Uvijin began to lean down slightly and stare at the talking hyena, showing a tendency to attack. The two figures behind Uvijin, one tall and one short, also began to raise their eyes slightly and glanced at the surrounding crowd. Slightly shorter than Uvijin, the boy with the samurai hair brushed his right hand lightly on a broken knife around his waist. Another little girl with purplish red hair also began to twist the wire in her hands. The three of them began to exude a murderous aura that did not match their age. The atmosphere suddenly froze. The hyena who spoke at the beginning saw this scene, and could not help but start to sweat. He was dazed by the big meal in front of him before, and for a while ignored the combat effectiveness of Uvijin and the three of them. Now, under the shroud of the power of the three, he has finally regained his lost sanity. Especially after seeing that there is no one around who has the same meaning as me, I keep retreating in my heart. So he could only scold Uvijin inwardly, and then slowly exited the area while watching Uvijin and the others. Seeing this, the people around them knew that they couldn't fish in troubled waters, so they all started to retreat. Cut, it's boring. Seeing this, Uvijin snorted a little unhappily. However, Uvijin didn't intend to chase after the gains that could stand at least a week in front of him. Forget it, the food here is probably enough for the three of us to eat for several days. The warrior-headed boy patted Uvijin's shoulder. Ha ha ha, then Nobunaga, you can play with me later. Uvijin, who was patted on the shoulder, didn't care, but hugged Nobunaga's head and laughed. I'm afraid of you, bet on a piece of black cake. After Nobunaga turned his head slightly to break free, he was not to be outdone. 
The purple-haired girl has long been surprised by this, but after shaking her head slightly, she walked over to check to see if there were any unexpected gains. Ah, Maki, wait for us. In a short time, with the skillful search of the three people, all the valuable things in the Nasla family's corpse were searched. The gangs have not fought once or twice in Meteor Street. Except for a few unexpected gains, the rest are basically the same. Weapons, clothing, and corpses. This time was no exception, except for a cell phone and a small amount of Johnny. Maki, why are you staring at this corpse? Hurry up and finish the search. Let's go get some food. This phone will give us some meat to eat. After Ubijin and Nobunaga each finished their search, they saw Maki staring at the corpse of a white-haired boy in a daze, and couldn't help but walk over. He's still alive, Maki said coldly. Hearing this, Ubijin couldn't help but stunned, then he's lucky. The simple-minded Ubijin didn't think much, but Nobunaga saw something. Something's wrong, his clothes show that he must have been shot a lot, but his body doesn't show any signs of injury. Nobunaga looked at Yuyu's intact body under the blood-stained and broken suit, and said solemnly. People who have been living in Meteor Street all have a consensus, that is, try not to touch directly what you don't understand. Because there are not only treasures in the garbage, but also countless dangers hidden in it. Such as certain radioactive substances. Usually, when they go out to scavenge garbage, they will wear protective clothing. Today, because of the news that the gangs are fighting, they came out without wearing protective clothing for the convenience of robbing them. Faced with such a bizarre phenomenon, the long-standing survival creed told Nobunaga to leave immediately. Let's go, leave it alone, Nobunaga began. No, my sixth sense tells me it's good for us to take him, Maki said when Nobunaga wanted to pull Maki back. In response to this, both Ubijin and Nobunaga suddenly stopped their actions. Maki is only 11 years old now, and the reason why he can team up with the likes of Ubijin. It is because Maki not only has superb stitching skills, but can quickly help both Ubijin and Nobunaga to restore the damage caused by the snatch with the hyena. It is also because Maki's sixth sense has always been very strong, and it can even be said to be fantasy to a certain extent. Maki's sixth sense has always helped them escape many dangers, so the two of them have unconditional trust in what Maki said. After a moment of silence, Ubijin took the lead and said, since you said that, Maki, let's take him back. Saying that, Ubijin picked up the white-haired boy. Nobunaga had a long mouth and wanted to say something, but in the end he didn't say it. What? After an unknown amount of time, Linmo finally digested the information in his mind and sat up from the coma. At this moment, Linmo's forehead was covered in cold sweat, and he couldn't help but reach out and wipe it. This sudden message records the life of a mysterious young man. Like most of the residents of Meteor Street, Mo was also abandoned by this world. Mo has been living in Meteor Street since he was conscious, and he didn't know who his parents were, and even his name was just a random name for the sake of convenience. In this place forgotten by the world, Mo has to work hard to survive since he was a child. Robbery, stealing, murdering, poisoning. As long as it can seize survival materials, it will be used no matter what means. Slowly, Mo's unscrupulous efforts made him gradually become a well-known hyena in the neighborhood. As a result, the three elders took a fancy to him and traded it to the Nasla family in exchange for allowing him to leave the Meteor Street and obtain a formal identity from the outside world. In Mo's memory, there are memories of killing and fighting, blood, internal organs, and the touch of flesh and blood. At the same time, it is accompanied by a variety of strange foods, strange tastes and so on. As a modern person, Lin Mo can bear such memories, and until now, Lin Mo still can't recover, gasping for breath. In the end, I couldn't control the tumbling of my stomach. Just when Lin Mo was about to open his mouth and spit it out, a cold and tender female voice came from the side. If you dare to spit it out, I'll kick you out. If you dare to spit it out, I'll kick you out. The sudden sound interrupted Lin Mo's tumbling stomach, and the instinctive vigilance of his body made Lin Mo instantly stop his desire to vomit. Instinctively took a defensive stance and looked in the direction of the voice. I saw a little girl about 11 years old with pink and purple hair leaning against the door, looking at Yun Mo coldly. Although she is still young, it is not difficult to see from her facial features that she will definitely be a glamorous beauty when she grows up. 
the familiar purple-red hair, and the very familiar face although still very immature. Lin Mo couldn't help but be taken aback. Lin Mo in the previous life is also an old two-dimensional. As one of the masterpieces, Hunter x Hunter, of course he has seen it. As early as when he accepted Mo's memory, he knew that he should have crossed into the world of Hunter x Hunter. It's just that I didn't expect to meet Maki, one of the members of the Phantom Troop. And it seems that he should have been saved by Maki. He remembered that his whole body was full of burning pain before he fell unconscious, and he also remembered that he was also shot several times. And now, not only can he stand up alive, but he also has no pain at all. You seem to know me. Maki has never doubted the sixth, who has lived on since childhood. Ah. Dot you, Uvijin, and the Nobunaga trio are famous, but they all spread to our neighborhood. Mo had indeed heard of Maki and their group in his memory. Hearing this, Maki nodded and didn't doubt anything. Their group's reputation is indeed quite big, otherwise they wouldn't have been defeated without a fight before. Just confirmed one thing, the boy in front of him is also from Meteor Street, not from the underworld. Did you, save me? Seeing that Maki didn't speak, Lin Mo couldn't help but ask. Although Maki's popularity has always been very high, but I never remember that she has a kind personality. No, you were already like this when I found you. Maki stared at Lin Mo for a while, then denied it. Hearing this, Lin Mo frowned and couldn't help thinking, could it be the benefit of time travel? At this time, Lin Mo didn't know that he merged with indestructible when he crossed. After clenching his fists slightly, Lin Mo didn't feel any difference between strength and memory. As for whether other aspects have changed from before, now is not the time to experiment. Is that so? Anyway, thank you for bringing me back. By the way, I haven't introduced myself yet, my name is Lin Mo. Maki's attitude was still cold, he just cast a glance at Lin Mo and didn't explain much. For Lin Mo, who she just met, she didn't want to explain too much about her sixth sense for him. Seeing that Maki didn't speak, Lin Mo didn't know what to say for a while. Just when the two fell silent, a loud voice laughed and pushed open the door of Maki's room. Ha ha ha, Maki, come and see what we have changed. Not only are there black cakes, but there are also two chickens. Uvijin rushed in with two chickens and shouted excitedly. Yo, little brother, you're awake. Seeing Lin Mo wake up, Uvijin greeted him without a trace. The original awkward atmosphere was broken by Uvijin, which made Lin Mo feel a little relieved. Hello. My name is Lin Mo, thank you for bringing me back. Ahahaha, hello hello, my name is Uvijin, you don't need to thank me, little brother, Maki asked me to bring you back. Uvijin waved his hand and said carelessly. Uvijin, you, run away with two chickens, and let me come back alone with a big box of black cakes. Nobunaga appeared behind Uvijin at some point and kicked Uvijin in. Nobunaga, who came in, also saw Lin Mo who woke up. Although he was still a little wary of Lin Mo, he was still ready to say hello to Lin Mo because of his trust in Maki's sixth sense. Oh, you're awake. In the end, I didn't expect that the words were not finished, and Uvijin, who stabilized his body, was punched and flew out. Nobunaga, you want to fight, right, ha 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 ha, just let us have the 376th duel. Nobunaga, who was knocked off the ground, got up angrily and yelled at Uvijin who was rushing towards him. Come here, who's afraid of who? You Uvijin. Ha ha ha, come on, idiot Nobunaga. After that, the two of you scuffled together with one punch and one kick. Seeing Lin Mo's mouth twitching involuntarily, he turned his head to look at Maki and complained, their relationship, dot has it always been this good. Maki also rubbed his temples with a headache. Although Maki is the youngest of the trio, only 11 years old. But in fact, most of the decisions are made by Maki, and the two enhancers Nobunaga and Uvijin are basically clueless. Although Nobunaga is a little better than Uvijin, just a little provocation will immediately leave the IQ behind. You two, don't destroy the house. Seeing that the fight between the two was getting bigger and bigger, Maki couldn't help but shout. Hearing this, Nobunaga took the time to reply to Maki, don't worry, it won't break, Ah. Taking advantage of the gap between Nobunaga's reply, Uvijin's eyes flashed, caught the flaw. Thousand year kill. Suddenly Nobunaga jumped up in pain while clutching a certain part. Yoshi, 
Now we have 205 wins, 78 draws, and 93 losses. Ha 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 ha, spicy chicken Nobunaga is definitely not my opponent. Uvajin laughed with his waist on. Nobunaga covered the injured Kiku Beria with some humiliation, and complained in a trembling voice, you win a fart, even sneak attack and shady tricks are too embarrassing to say that you won. Maki shook his head and picked up the two chickens thrown aside by Uvajin to stop the two's farce, okay, eat now, the chickens won't be fresh anymore. After he finished speaking, he looked back at Lin Mo. After a pause, he said to Lin Mo, this time, you should come along too. Anyway, you got your partner's things in exchange. Food is a very precious resource in Meteor Street, especially meat. The residents of Meteor Street have little chance to encounter meat throughout the year. So Maki was willing to share it with him, which surprised Lin Mo quite a bit. He had planned to come hungry today. Ah, thank you, Maki. Lin Mo smiled and thanked Maki. With that handsome face, I have to say that it is still a bit lethal, although it is useless to Maki. After a simple and rude operation by Maki, two slightly burnt chickens were freshly baked. There was no seasoning, no sauce, not even the chicken was marinated. The original taste is indeed original enough, but the problem is that Lin Mo, who came from modern society, looked at this unappetizing roast chicken and really didn't know how to eat it. In the end, Lin Mo in his previous life did not cry at all. Rich and handsome, a proper winner in life, to be honest, he didn't expect anything from time travel. After all, he was quite satisfied with his original life. Watching Uvajin and Nobunaga eat chicken and eat black cakes. For some reason, this black cake always reminds Lin Mo of the cockroach brand high-protein black cake in the Snowpiercer. Thinking of the black cake made of cockroaches, Lin Mo almost spit it out again, plus he didn't feel any hunger at all, and now he has no appetite. Seeing that Lin Mo didn't move, Uvajin looked at him suspiciously, Lin Mo, why don't you eat? Ah, nothing, just. Lin Mo just wanted to explain that he wasn't hungry yet, and planned to save it for a while before eating when he was hungry. For some reason, the body instinctively throbbed. Following instinct, Lin Mo opened his right hand. Suddenly, a five mature Kobe steak appeared in his hand. Looking at the fragrant Kobe steak, the four of them were a little stunned on the spot. Lin Mo, you, dot you have food hidden on your body. No, I've seen it before, you obviously have nothing on your body. Uvijin, the most direct character, spoke first. No, this piece of meat just came out of Lin Mo's hands, not taken out. Maki said calmly. If it is changed, is this the strange ability possessed by the elder's direct guards? Nobunaga's eyes narrowed when he saw this, and he thought of a possibility. Although he didn't know how he had this ability, Lin Mo knew very well that the strange ability Nobunaga was referring to should be Nen. And he clearly didn't feel any sense of awakening, so it shouldn't be. It's just that I don't know how to explain it at the moment, so I can only helplessly say, I don't know either, I just felt that I could do it, so I did it. Uvijin's eyes flashed with joy, and he asked anxiously, Lin Mo, don't care how you did it, do you still have this meat? I mean, can you continue to change it? Although Uvijin has always been a rambunctious person, but at this time it is rare to ask a key question. Indeed, there is no need to get to the bottom of the source of Lin Mo's ability, for them, the result is the most important thing. If Lin Mo can always conjure up food, doesn't it mean that they will never have to worry about food in the future? In Meteor Street, the most important thing is food resources. Nobunaga glanced at Uvijin in surprise. I didn't expect you to be so smart this time. Maki glanced at Uvijin and spit it out, he's just a fool and a fool. At this time, Uvijin didn't have time to take care of other things, he just urged, Lin Mo, you should try again. Lin Mo said with some confusion, it should be possible. As a result, before Lin Mo finished speaking, a Kobe steak of the same size appeared out of thin air on his left hand. Seeing this, Uvijin grabbed it with a happy face, and took a bite directly on the steak. Tender and juicy, the quality of the beef is paired with just the right amount of sauce. At this moment, Uvijin only felt that the beef kept dancing on the tip of his tongue, and all the cells in his body were cheering. It can be said that Uvijin has never produced such delicious food in more than 10 years since its birth. He once thought that the roast chicken made by Maki was already the best thing in the world. 
I never thought that there could be such delicious food in this world. Tears flowed involuntarily. Even so, Uvijin's mouth movements didn't stop, and he was still eating the steak in his hands. Nobunaga, who has been with Uvijin the longest, has never seen Uvijin like this. Some eagerly shook Uvijin's shoulder and shouted, Uvijin, Uvijin, what's wrong with you? However, Uvijin completely ignored Nobunaga's meaning. After he swallowed the last bite of meat, he took a deep breath and shouted, It's delicious. The loudness of the voice made Lin Mo a little tinnitus, let alone his recent Nobunaga. Only Maki had escaped by covering his ears early when he saw Uvijin take a deep breath. Uvijin, you idiot, why are you grinding so loudly? Nobunaga, whose eardrum was stinging from Uvijin's roar, slapped Uvijin's head with a slap. Uvijin didn't care at all, he just said to Nobunaga and Maki excitedly, Nobunaga, Maki, you should try it too, it's really delicious, it's so delicious that you can't believe it. Isn't it that exaggerated? Nobunaga was a little unconvinced, although he admitted that the meat pieces that Lin Mo transformed were very appetizing at first glance. But Uvijin actually cried just now, isn't this a bit too exaggerated? It's really delicious, if you don't believe me, you can try it. Lin Mo, Lin Mo, give me a few more dollars. Judging from how I felt when it was turned into food just now, I should have no burden on myself. So Lin Mo put his right hand on the plate and created a dozen steaks at once. Hum, you can tell by looking at Uvijin's body shape. If there are only a few pieces, it is estimated that he is not enough to eat. Seeing this, Uvijin felt like he was picking up two pieces in one hand, and then looked at Nobunaga and Maki expectantly. That expression looks like you who gave Amway things to your friends. Under Uvijin's gaze, Nobunaga and Maki, suspiciously, each forked a steak and put it in their mouths. The moment the steak entered their mouths, the pupils of the two of them dilated at the same time. An unprecedented wonderful feeling quickly spread from the tip of the tongue to the whole body. At this time, they finally realize the feeling of the cells in the whole body cheering at the same time, and it is no wonder that Uvijin will eat and cry. Because it is really delicious. Ha 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 ha, I'll just say it's delicious, you see, I didn't lie to you. Uvijin laughed contentedly when he saw that both of them were immersed in the world of food. For the next time, everyone stopped talking and was burying their heads in hard work. Even the coldest Maki couldn't help but move a little wildly. After all, Maki was only an 11 year old. Seeing Maki gobbling up, Lin Mo couldn't help feeling a little distressed. As for the two big guys Uvijin and Nobunaga, that you can't feel distressed just by looking at the appearance. As if feeling Lin Mo's eyes, Maki looked up at Lin Mo uncomfortably. He squinted at Lin Mo for a while, his expression seemed to say, were you thinking of something rude just now? Lin Mo didn't speak, just kept smiling at her. I wanted to stare at Lin Mo for a while, but I couldn't resist the temptation of delicious food, so I continued to fight with the steak on the plate. Seeing this, the corners of Lin Mo's mouth could not help evoking a nice arc. He secretly smiled in his heart. Sure enough, he is still a child. Then Lin Mo also slowly cut the steak. Although he didn't feel any hunger, the food always makes people happy, doesn't it? Today, Lin Mo has experienced enough. Fortunately, he has the ability to create delicious food. Otherwise, if Lin Mo really wants to eat those black cakes that he doesn't know what to do, Lin Mo might really go crazy. After drinking and eating, Uvijin and Nobunaga slumped to the ground with no image, rubbing their obviously bulging stomachs with contented faces. Although Maki is not as exaggerated as they are, it is not difficult to see from her slightly bulging belly that she is also struggling. In this meal, Lin Mo made more than 30 pieces of steak. Except for the two pieces he ate, the rest went into the stomachs of the three of them. After eating, Lin Mo was almost stunned. As expected of a world where 12 year olds can have a ton of thrust with a little training, the people here eat as much as 10. Sure enough, you can always trust Maki. Uvijin lay on the ground and sighed involuntarily. It turns out that you can always trust Maki's sixth sense, and they wouldn't have been able to eat something so delicious if Maki hadn't noticed Lin Mo lying in the corpse and brought him back. Yes, Maki, you are really amazing. Nobunaga also agreed with a contented face. Ha ha ha, I don't know which coward he was, he didn't dare to bring Lin Mo back. Hey, I'm being cautious, I'm not a coward, 
Nobunaga lost his face when Uvijin was demolished in front of the client. Ha 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 ha, you're obviously timid. Uvijin, who was very nervous, didn't think there was anything wrong with saying this in front of Lin Mo. After hesitating for a while, Nobunaga sat up and explained to Lin Mo. Lin Mo, you are also from Meteor Street, so if we don't understand, we will not take risks easily, here I will tell you first. Sorry, sorry. Lin Mo waved his hand and said, it's okay, I understand. Although the cruelty of Meteor Street can be vaguely felt in the animation of the previous life, in fact, through Mo's memory, Lin Mo discovered that the description in the original book is only the tip of the iceberg of Meteor Street. Pity, sympathy, is poison in Meteor Street. Bringing a stranger home without knowing it is a very dangerous thing to do. Combining the words of Ubijin and Nobunaga just now, Lin Mo knows why they brought him back. It turned out to be Maki's magical sixth sense. It is estimated that I feel that I can have a good influence on them. At this time, Ubijin also sat up with a straight face and said to Lin Mo with a rare seriousness, Little brother Lin Mo, I have a relatively straightforward personality, so I won't be around you. I want to ask how you did it. After speaking, Uvijin thought about it and felt that it was not good to ask directly, so he added, Of course, if you don't want to say it, it doesn't matter, I'm just curious. Lin Mo was a little helpless, he really didn't know how he did it, the only thing he remembered was the instinctive feeling of his body throbbing when he missed the food in his previous life. Then the steak came out of hand. To be honest, I really don't know. I didn't have this ability before. If I had this ability, I wouldn't be sold to the underworld by the elders. I think it may be because after Lin Mo's escape this time, he awakened the Nen that Krolo mentioned before, the strange superpowers of the elders' direct guards. Nobunaga also leaned over and touched his chin for analysis, wrote. Um, Krolo. A light flashed in Lin Mo's eyes. Has Krolo started contacting Uvijin at this time? Lin Mo looked at Uvijin and the others, then estimated their approximate ages, and it was indeed almost the time when the brigade was established. So it's no surprise that Krolo will reach out to them. After listening to Nobunaga's words, Uvijin felt the same way, otherwise he couldn't accept that Lin Mo could create food out of thin air. If it's superpowers, that makes sense. Lin Mo knows his own business. His ability is definitely not Nen. According to the description of the original book, after awakening Nen, he will have a clear feeling. And he didn't feel anything. Whether it is self-healing ability or the ability to create food, it is either a mutation in the body or the welfare of crossing. But if you cross the welfare, you can heal yourself, and there is still a food creation. Lin Mo doesn't feel right, this ability should not be that simple. Having said that, since he woke up, he didn't feel hungry, nor did he feel full after eating two steaks. This is also very strange. Logically speaking, if I haven't eaten anything for almost a day, I should feel hungry when I wake up. And just two steaks, no matter how big the meal is, it should feel a little bit. As a result, I still feel nothing. But now is not the time to experiment, let's talk about it when I'm alone. On the side, Uvijin scratched the stubble on his chin, and muttered thoughtfully, can you awaken superpowers by escaping from death? Although Uvijin's voice has been lowered, this is relative to his loud voice. Lin Mo looked at Uvijin in horror, but don't play with it, you'll kill yourself. Just as Lin Mo was thinking about how to make Uvijin laugh, Maki, who had been silent next to him, spoke up. Uvijin, don't be stupid. We haven't seen many people who survived the death. Do you think anyone has awakened their abilities? After speaking, Maki paused, and then said, if you really want to awaken your abilities, then we'll find Krolo. Maki, didn't you say you didn't contact Krolo first? Why did you suddenly change your mind? Nobunaga looked at Maki in surprise. Maki shook his head. Before, I just didn't think it was necessary to join Krolo's team, so I didn't plan to contact him. But now that he has news about superpowers, he must have other plans. Contact first. There's no harm in looking at it. After speaking, Maki turned his head to look at Lin Mo and asked straight to the point, What about you, Lin Mo? Are you going to come with me or go back to your original neighborhood? Since it was Maki who picked me up, then of course I'm with you. Anyway, I don't have any other place to go right now. Lin Mo replied after thinking for a while. 
Although the original body is a little strong in Meteor Street, it is not enough compared to monsters like Ubijin and Nobunaga. Before they understand the changes in their bodies, they can at least be safe by following Maki first. Maki nodded. In this case, Lin Mo, you can take care of our daily food, and Ubijin Nobunaga and I will take care of the rest of the daily necessities. Ha ha ha, don't worry Lin Mo, I will be responsible for your future safety. Ubijin grinned at Lin Mo and said. What a joke, since eating Lin Mo's steak, Ubijin feels like he can't live without Lin Mo's food. If you let him eat the black cake again, he probably won't be able to eat it. Lin Mo didn't refuse, patted Ubijin's shoulder and smiled, then please. Then let's go here today. We have to get up early tomorrow to help Lin Mo collect other living supplies. Nobunaga was relieved when he saw that Lin Mo had decided to join them. No way, Lin Mo's food is too tempting. Just as Nobunaga was about to pack up the dishes and go back, he suddenly remembered something and said, by the way, since you're here today, Lin Mo, your house hasn't been prepared yet, why don't you squeeze with someone for the time being? Maki's residence is actually three small independent houses built on a clearing that they have swept out, and no one else lives there. Most of Meteor Connect is covered with junk phones from all over the world, so if you want to get a place to live, you must first clear a place. Or simply rob someone else's residence. After all, from the very beginning, Meteor Street exists to allow garbage that cannot be disposed of around the world to be, disposed, in this place. Even the residents of Meteor Street are either offended by the outside world and can't get in, or they are made up of people who have been abandoned here. The only area that can be called a residential area is probably only the area where the elders live, and this is because a large team called, Elders, has been formed through thousands of years of development and inheritance. When they eat, they will set up a small fire in an open space in front of the house, and after eating, they will throw the leftovers of the food into the garbage pile on the side. Speaking of which, since absorbing Mo's memory, the pungent stench in Meteor Street was no longer felt to Lin Mo. It is estimated that the habit of the brain's senses has recovered. In fact, the residents of Meteor Street usually form a team one by one, after all, the power of one person is limited. The power here is not only force, but also includes various survival skills. It is difficult for a person to be perfect in all aspects. You may be very powerful, but if you encounter certain radioactive substances or poisons, you will die if you touch them without knowing it. And in this dangerous place, you can't know when you will be injured. Coupled with the harsh environmental pollution, it is easy to form an infection. If you don't have some medical skills, you can't go very far. So, I don't know since when, the residents here began to spontaneously form teams one by one, and live in groups with each other. Each team builds a place to live, because it's impossible to sleep peacefully if there are other teams nearby. After all, Competition is also the eternal theme of Meteor Street. The strong eat the weak and the fittest survive, the rules of Meteor Street are as simple as that. That is to say, there are no extra houses around for Lin Mo to live in. Lin Mo looked at Ubijin and Nobunaga, two sloppy rough men, and looked at the tender and delicious little lowly next to him. If you choose with your feet, you know who to choose. However, Lin Mo couldn't be too obvious. After organizing the language a little, he calmly said, well, Maki is the petite in terms of body shape, so I'd better squeeze with Maki first. Lin Mo's well-founded analysis has also been successfully recognized by others. Uvijin looked at himself, nodded and said, indeed, there is probably no room for you to squeeze in my bed. Maki frowned, thinking of Lin Mo's ability to create food out of thin air, and finally agreed. If you dare to move, I'll kick you out. Maki, who grew up in Meteor Street, is very aware of the perverted behavior in Meteor Street. And she is also very clear about her own charm. Before she met Uvijin and Nobunaga, she didn't know how many times she escaped from those perverts by relying on her sixth sense. If it weren't for her naturally sensitive sixth sense, she would have long since known what she would have become. She would have been played to death long ago when she encountered roughness. Therefore, he has been freezing his heart all the time. She, has seen too much ugliness. Although I felt some strange eyes from Lin Mo when I was eating before, it was not the disgusting feeling I had encountered before, but it was a little warm. Of course, Lin Mo's handsome face also brought him a lot of bonus points. After all, 
No matter where he looks, it is always a bonus item. I know, I know. Lin Mo raised his hand slightly to show his innocence. Maki stared at Lin Mo's face for a while. His sixth sense really didn't sense any malice in Lin Mo before he started walking towards his house. Come on, then we'll see you tomorrow. Lin Mo said hello to Uvijin drinking Nobunaga, and left behind Maki. Of course, the washing of the dishes was left to Nobunaga. Before Lin Mo joined, Nobunaga was in charge of washing the dishes. Maki is in charge of cooking, and Uvijin's words would be great if he could break the bowl. Okay, see you tomorrow. Nobunaga replied to Lin Mo while holding several people's cutlery. Looking at Uvijin who was heartless and doing nothing, he couldn't help kicking him a little angrily. Come here and help me carry the bull over. Dot dot dot. Lin Mo, who followed Maki into the house, could only see the specific facilities of Maki's house at this time. A simple cabinet, a mattress and a simple table and chair. There are four things in total. After returning to the house, Maki ignored Lin Mo and went straight to the chair to sit down. Then he took out the tiny wire hidden in his clothes and fiddled with it. Although Maki did not fight today, she was used to maintaining her weapons a little bit. For her, the wire in her hand is the only thing she can protect herself, so even if it doesn't wear out, she will make sure that the wire is okay every day. Seeing that Maki didn't want to communicate at all, Lin Mo didn't bother her too much. With Lin Mo's professional quality as a psychiatrist, Maki's psychological defense line is very high in this short contact. This kind of self-defense awareness cannot be developed in a day or two, and it is estimated that he has always had a considerable degree of defense against everything around him since he was conscious. It also shows that Maki's defense can't be dispelled with just one or two words from him. Restoring enthusiasm will be more than the loss, and she can only slowly approach her heart through the accumulation of time. Looking at Maki who was still fiddling with the steel wire very carefully, Lin Mo's eyes flashed a trace of love again involuntarily. The steel wire flickering coldly in the candlelight, and the occasional tiny scratches on Maki's young hands. It can be seen that Maki should have suffered a lot in this regard. Children, especially little Loli. Looking at her cold expression, carefully fiddling with dangerous weapons, it's hard not to feel pity. Lin Mo considers himself not a good person, and mostly does things according to his own preferences. Maki happened to grow on Lin Mo's aesthetics, and naturally his favorability to Maki would double. Here we go again. Maki, who was checking the maintenance weapon again, felt that strange look from Lin Mo again. Maki's sixth sense didn't feel any malice, but instead felt the goodwill from Lin Mo. Maki stopped the movement of his hands, raised his head slightly and glanced at Lin Mo. Seeing Maki look over, Lin Mo showed a slightly warm smile. Maki didn't ask any further questions and continued with his work. Although I don't know what Lin Mo is thinking. But Maki doesn't hate that feeling. Asterisk. Lin Mo, I'm going to rest, how about you? Maki raised his head and looked at Lin Mo after putting the steel wire in his hand back. Go to sleep first, I guess I've slept for most of the day today and I'm not sleepy yet. Lin Mo replied mockingly. First. Lin Mo didn't really feel any sleepiness, and secondly, Lin Mo planned to wait for Maki to fall asleep and go outside to test what kind of changes happened to his body. Maki nodded, ignoring Lin Mo's intentions. Just when he came to the edge of the mattress, his little hand drew a line in the middle of the mattress and said, Then I will sleep first, I will sleep on this side, you sleep on the other side, if you dare to cross the line, I will also kick you out. Don't worry, I won't. Lin Mo glanced at Maki angrily. Do I look like a pervert? Hearing this, Maki didn't say anything more. After lying down on the bed, he put on a shabby but clean blanket, and closed his eyes and started to rest. His breathing, which had been a little dramatic at first, gradually became slow and steady. After seeing that Maki was almost asleep, Lin Mo got up from the corner of the wall where he had been sitting. Slowing down his footsteps, he pushed open the door and went out to the open space outside. However, what Lin Mo didn't know was that at the moment he went out, Lin Mo and Maki, who was sleeping, suddenly opened his eyes. Looking at the back of Lin Mo leaving, I don't know what to think. Look at the empty space and the garbage surrounding it. Lin Mo first stretched his body a little. In one day today, I experienced too many things at once, and I have never had the opportunity to think alone. First of all, 
Through an inexplicable journey, he came to a world where people cannibalize people, and he was directly in the most dangerous area in this dangerous world. Then there is the unknown mutation of the body, although it seems that it should be mutated in a good direction. But if you can't figure out what specific abilities you have, you will feel uneasy after all. For a while, Lin Mo's thoughts were a little confused, and he didn't know where to start. No matter what, the body is the foundation of one's life, let's test the condition of the body first. Lin Mo murmured while looking at the dark night sky. With the pollution situation of Meteor Street, don't expect a bright night sky. First, the conjecture of self-healing. Lin Mo looked around, looking at the garbage piles full of unknown substances. The corner of his mouth twitched slightly, but he gave up the idea of looking for foreign objects to hurt himself. Looking down at his right hand, fortunately, the nails are a little long, and they should be able to scratch a hole. After thinking about it, Lin Mo squeezed his left forearm and scratched a small wound of about one centimeter. The depth is just as deep as seeing blood. It's just a test to see if there is the ability to quickly heal itself as I guessed, there's no need to make it too serious. If not, it would be stupid. As a result, what Lin Mo did not expect was that the wound disappeared immediately after it appeared, and even the pain was gone. If it wasn't for a trace of blood remaining on the nail, Lin Mo would have thought that he had just had a hallucination. This speed, a bit unexpected. A flash of shock flashed in Lin Mo's pupils. If he followed the speed just now, it might be even stronger than Wolverine's self-healing ability. No, the wound just now is too small, I can't see anything. A flash of determination flashed in Lin Mo's eyes, and his right hand again forced a hole from his elbow to his wrist on his left arm. Hiss. The intense pain caused Lin Mo to make a sound. Without any tools, and still self-mutilating, in order to test his self-healing ability, Lin Mo hit himself hard. Fortunately, the result did not live up to Lin Mo's efforts. It didn't even take a second, the skin squirmed a little, and the entire wound from the elbow to the wrist disappeared. Lin Mo repeatedly looked at his left arm in ecstasy. Such self-healing ability was absolutely comparable to that of Wolverine. Maybe it will be above this, and he has not felt the slightest consumption. This level of self-healing ability can definitely become his capital for survival in a high-risk world like Hunter x Hunter. After determining your own life-saving ability, the next step is the ability to create steak. Lin Mo moved his right hand, and another piece of tender and juicy Kobe steak appeared in his hand. Lin Mo stared at the steak for a long time, still didn't understand why Kobe steak appeared. Obviously, he had imagined braised pork in his mind before. After a few more trials, he still got Kobe steak, Lin Mo was puzzled, why is this? I kept replaying in my mind how I felt when I first conjured up a steak. Is that the throbbing? After thinking about it, it was because of the throbbing that Lin Mo instinctively felt that he could turn the steak out. This is where the use of psychology comes into play. Lin Mo began to perform simple psychological hypnosis on himself, reminding himself of the feeling when he watched Uvagin and the others eat black cakes, and then the pile of cockroaches that appeared on the snowpiercer appeared in his mind. Then keep this nausea, and combine it with the braised pork. Sure enough, this throbbing rose from Lin Mo's body again. Following instinct, Lin Mo opened his palm. The next second, a large piece of braised pork appeared. Lin Mo's mouth twitched. Successful, it's not a loss, it's me. Since creation is related to throbbing, and throbbing is related to self-resistance and desire, can it be understood that as long as I let myself feel this way, I can create other things besides food? After solving the problem of only creating steak, Lin Mo did it cross-legged on the ground and began to think. Lin Mo looked at the injured left arm thoughtfully. Since it is related to the resistance of body sense, maybe it can be. Just do what you think, Lin Mo starts a new round of psychological construction. Since the pain in the arm just happened just now, that pain could easily have been constructed by Lin Mo. It's just that the scene constructed is to replace his nails with kitchen knives. The intense pain sensation successfully caused Lin Mo's body to throb again. Lin Mo's hand actually began to form the imagined kitchen knife. Grip. Lin Mo subconsciously held the handle of the kitchen knife. Feel the thick wooden touch in your hand. Lin Mo's pupils began to dilate. It turned out. Really successful, Lin Mo looked at the sharp kitchen knife in his hand with a look of shock. 
I was just trying to give it a try, but it turned out to be a success. If a kitchen knife can do it, do you mean a gun too? Without saying a word, Lin Mo started to hypnotize himself again, but this time he recalled the feeling of being robbed and hid in the original body's memory. The next second, a black pistol appeared in Lin Mo's hand. However, Lin Mo had not had time to be happy. He found out that the gun that was created was just a gun-shaped iron block with its appearance. Although this experiment was unsuccessful, Lin Mo did not look disappointed. He threw the pistol in his hand into the garbage behind him. Lin Mo touched his chin and murmured, isn't it okay? It's probably because I don't understand the structure of grabbing and I haven't touched it before, so I can't build it. It feels like anything can be done when one is pushed. Except for the math. After patting the dust on his trousers a little, Lin Mo stood up satisfied. This is the end of the ability test. In general, both abilities are very satisfactory to Lin Mo. It should be said that I am very satisfied. Self-healing ability and material manifestation no matter which of these two abilities, can become the capital for Lin Mo to survive in this world. Lin Mo noticed his tattered suit full of bullet holes when he was shooting the dust. Speaking of which, this dress should also be changed. Having said that, Lin Mo closed his eyes and magnified his uncomfortable feeling about his clothes. The next moment, a set of pure cotton pajamas and a pure black suit appeared in Lin Mo's hands. This ability is quite convenient. Lin Mo put on his pajamas with satisfaction, then took a brand new suit and planned to go to the house. After testing his abilities, Lin Mo's mentality relaxed. At least these abilities allow him to not fear the world. Although I don't know how these abilities came from, let's classify them as time travel welfare for now. Speaking of which, it's not too early, why am I not even sleepy at all? Although it's strange and somewhat abnormal biological clock, Lin Mo didn't care too much. Quan was really because he had been in a coma for too long before. And the absence of sleepiness does not mean that you cannot sleep. Sleeping itself is a relaxation behavior. In addition to relieving physical stress, it can also act on psychological stress. Looking at Maki who was still asleep, Lin Mo gently covered Maki with the blanket. Then he whispered to Maki, good night. Then he lay down beside Maki gently, closed his eyes and fell asleep. After a whole day of anxiety, and now suddenly relaxed, Lin Mo soon fell asleep. However, what Lin Mo didn't know was that Maki had already woken up the moment Lin Mo stepped into the house. It was only after quickly confirming that the person who came was Lin Mo, there was no movement. When Lin Mo reached out to touch the blanket on his body, Maki was even more tense. With both hands still holding up the wire, as long as Lin Mo has any inappropriate behavior, Maki will immediately strangle Lin Mo. Maki really doesn't want to take a shot at Lin Mo if he can. After all, Lin Mo's ability to create food can be said to be the dream of the entire Meteor Street. In addition, there was no warning from his sixth sense, so Maki didn't make the first move, but planned to observe what Lin Mo wanted to do first. Unexpectedly, Lin Mo just covered himself with the quilt and said goodnight to himself. She couldn't understand Lin Mo's behavior at all. She had never seen such an action in her worldview and couldn't understand what it meant. Although the answer cannot be obtained from a cognitive level. But Maki could feel a warm feeling that he had never experienced before in his natural keen senses. After all, Maki is still just an 11-year-old child, and at this time in modern society, he is only in elementary school. At an age that should have been coquettish in the arms of his parents, he was frozen by this world. After feeling that Lin Mo had fallen asleep, Maki opened his big Kazlin eyes and looked at Lin Mo's handsome face in a complicated way. Sometimes people don't think too complicated, as long as they do the right thing at the right time, in fact, sometimes the satisfaction of the human heart can be very simple. At this moment, something deep inside Maki seems to be breaking apart. Lin Mo, Lin Mo, wake up, Lin Mo, who was still sleeping, was shouted by a loud, rude voice. Lin Mo didn't even need to open his eyes to know that the owner of the voice must be Uvijin. It's a pity not to call Mai with such a good voice. After half a moment of chaos, the brain immediately woke up. Maki, who was supposed to be lying next to him, is now gone, so he must have gone out. Uvijin, are you going to collect resources? Lin Mo asked while rubbing his eyes. Ah, 
Nobunaga and I just got you a protective suit, so you can collect what you want by yourself. After that, Ubijin handed a khaki protective suit to Lin Mo. Thank you, Ubijin. After Lin Mo thanked him, he took the protective suit from Ubijin's hand. However, Lin Mo's eyes twitched when he saw the torn and dirty protective clothing. Does this thing really block radiation? Lin Mo didn't put on the protective suit that Ubijin handed over, but just observed the material of the protective suit a little. By the way, I tested my abilities yesterday, and I found that I can create most of the materials besides food, and protective clothing should be fine. After saying that, Lin Mo closed his eyes and brewed for a while, a new set of protective clothing suddenly appeared in his hands. Seeing Ubijin's eyes widened involuntarily. He was so shocked that he would say, Lin Mo, your ability is too powerful, no, I'll go and call Maki and the others. After leaving a sentence, Ubijin rushed out. After a while, Ubijin returned with Nobunaga and Maki. Lin Mo, is it true, Ubijin said that you can make clothes besides food. After Nobunaga asked this sentence, he suddenly found that the clothes Lin Mo was wearing at this time turned out to be a set of perfect and clean pajamas, not the tattered cheap suit from before. When I woke up this morning, I found that Lin Mo's clothes had changed. At first I thought he was lucky and picked it up outside last night. Now it seems that his abilities are a bit beyond our imagination. Maki's cold voice it also sounded behind Nobunaga. Actually, I should be able to create not only clothes, but basically anything that is not complicated in structure. As the words fell, the sofa, table and even a double bed were transformed by Lin Mo-like magic. As pieces emerged from Lin Mo's hands, Maki, Uvijin and Nobunaga's expressions gradually froze, and their mouths grew bigger and bigger involuntarily. After stopping, Lin Mo stood there and admired Maki's Yan Yi for a while. From the moment I met Maki, Maki's face was basically expressionless. At this time, Maki was as cute as he should be in his teens. And the three people who were standing on the spot had a thought in their minds at the same time. With Lin Mo here, what kind of rubbish are you picking up? In fact, Lin Mo chose to tell Ubijin about his abilities after his own consideration. First of all, Lin Mo has never been a person who can endure hardship. Although it can be seen that Maki is intentional to clean up, but the hardware facilities of the house are placed here, and no matter how much software is improved, it cannot be changed. Although I slept with Maki last night, it sounded very exciting. But in fact, Maki's mattress was as hard as a plank, which made Lin Mo feel a backache after getting up. The living conditions in Meteor Street are just like that. No matter how they exchange and snatch, Lin Mo doesn't think it can meet the standard in his mind. If Lin Mo wants to use his abilities to improve his life, Ubijin and the others are not fools, these things that are obviously not products of Meteor Street appear. How can you hide it? Unless it is to leave Ubijin and their team and choose to live alone. But doing so will face another problem. Not to mention the fact that he is greedy for Maki's body in the future and the two future brigade level warriors, it's hard to say whether he has the ability to protect himself. According to Mo's memory, he only gained a little fame by relying on his brain and underhand tricks. In terms of actual combat power, maybe he can't even beat Maki, let alone Ubijin Nobunaga. Although the self-healing ability can guarantee his life, people can arrest you. During the fight, the opponent will inevitably discover something amazing about his self-healing ability, and then it will become a mobile human body parts library, just like what the government did to the demi-humans in their childhood. Lin Mo shuddered when he thought of such a scene. If it really turned out to be like this, it would be better to die, and self-healing would become a burden to Lin Mo. So it is definitely not possible to go out independently. Not being able to go out independently, but also want to improve the quality of life, the only thing Lin Mo can do is to confess. On the other hand, according to the descriptions of Dewey Ubijin in the original book and the way I get along with them all day. As long as they recognize you as a companion, they will definitely not betray you. This is from the original book Ubijin faced Kurapika's various tortures, and even said that as long as he told the information about the brigade, he could spare his life. In the end, Ubijin only replied, go to hell. Stupid. See. And Nobunaga is about the same as Uvijin, even confronting Faden for Gon, who he just recognized. The same is true for Maki, who views the brigade even more than his own life. 
it can be seen that Uvijan Nobunaga and Maki are both reliable people. As for whether or not to regard Lin Mo as a partner, please do not challenge Lin Mo's analysis as a psychiatrist. In the next few days, their entire station ushered in earth-shaking changes. Under Lin Mo's ability, a variety of modern products emerged one after another. And in the experiments over the past few days, Lin Mo also discovered it. With the ability to materialize, I don't know whether to say that he is materialistic or idealistic. As long as Lin Mo touches anything, he can materialize it. You don't need to understand how he works at all, you just need to mentally suggest that you have a strong desire for this thing and you can manifest it. You say he is idealistic, he needs you to have real contact with him. You say he is materialistic, and you don't need to know his specific organization. Anyway, it is very magical, and the final interpretation right belongs to the author. The quality of life has indeed reached Lin Mo's psychological expectations, but it is a pity that Lin Mo no longer has an excuse to sleep with Maki. Ah, cool, Uvijin took out a can of Tsingtao beer from the refrigerator, lay down on the soft sofa and finished it in one breath, and let out a sigh of relief. Although I can't read the strange and complicated text on the bottle, the taste is really good. Uvijin you, get your feet off me. When Uvijin lay down, he accidentally bumped into Nobunaga, who was wiping the katana that Lin Mo embodied. Lin Mo and Maki were sitting on the opposite side of the sofa. Lin Mo had just materialized a strawberry cake and was about to feed it to Maki. Speaking of which, Lin Mo didn't expect that Maki, who looked very cold, unexpectedly liked sweets, and he was still a child after all. Maki took the cake from Lin Mo very naturally, so this was not the first time. Lin Mo, recently Alan's group has become less honest. I heard that they are planning to join Karen to attack us. What do you think? Uvijin threw the beer can into the trash can behind him, then sat up and said to Lin Mo, a bit of cruelty flashing in his eyes. During this period of time, as Lin Mo manifested more and more things, Lin Mo's weight in the entire team became heavier and heavier. The so-called cannibalism and short-handedness, and receiving so many benefits from Lin Mo, naturally, at any time, he will follow Lin Mo's opinions intentionally or unintentionally. In addition, most of the things in their original team were dominated by an 11-year-old girl like Maki, because the two enhancers Uvijin and Nobunaga were really not suitable to be leaders. As for Maki, if it weren't for Uvijin and Nobunaga being really inappropriate, she wouldn't want to be the leader herself. If possible, she, who has been insecure since childhood, hopes that others can give her a sense of security. So Maki is very happy to see such changes. Hearing Uvijin's question, Nobunaga stopped wiping the katana in his hand, Maki also put down the spoon, and the two looked at Lin Mo at the same time. Showing that you have the final say. Lin Mo's mouth twitched, and he said indifferently, since Alan's gang is dishonest, let's bury them and see if they can be dishonest when buried. During this period of time, the big moves of their station have long been discovered by people from several nearby teams. Watching their station turn into a paradise step by step, even if they were afraid of the physical threats of Uvijin and Nobunaga, they could not sit still in the face of such huge interests. Alan is the largest of these groups. There are 30 or 40 hyenas under his hands. Not enough are people who have no awakening. I believe that the two monsters Uvijin and Nobunaga are nothing to be afraid of. If Karen and the others are not honest in the future, then they will be destroyed together. After listening to Lin Mo's words, Uvijin was shaking with excitement, and the fierceness in his eyes became a little more. Ha ha ha, that's great, I'm going to kill them all now. I haven't been out much these days, so I can just move around. After that, Uvijin stood up from the sofa and ran out the door. It can be seen that Uvijin is indeed a bit suffocated. Nobunaga, you should go too just to try your new knife. Lin Mo said helplessly to Nobunaga who was looking at him. Nobunaga, who was still pitiful, immediately became excited after hearing this, okay, I'll go now. Nobunaga, like Uvijin, has always wanted to hack someone and try it out after receiving the katana that Lin Mo embodied. Uvijin, wait for me, don't want to eat alone. Seeing that Lin Mo was all set, Maki continued to pick up the spoon and eat the cake. And Lin Mo also recovered the ant's smile on his face and began to enjoy the joy of feeding lowly Maki. Um, Maki, who was still eating strawberry cake, suddenly stopped. What's wrong? 
Lin Mo asked when he noticed Maki's abnormality. I have a bad premonition. Maki frowned. Just now she suddenly felt a sudden panic, she knew this was a warning from her sixth sense. Hearing this, Lin Mo narrowed his eyes slightly, you mean Uvijin and the others are in danger. Maki shook his head. No, it's us. Jia ha 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 ha, Maki still has the little white face in it, you hurry up and come out to me, this time Uvijin and Nobunaga are not here, who else can I help you? Ha 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 ha. Before Maki could finish speaking, a hoarse and arrogant shout came from outside. Seeing this, Lin Mo hurriedly looked at the monitor. I saw a man with a broken arm with a deformed appearance in the surveillance, standing outside the door with a dozen or twenty younger brothers behind him. It's O's, how could it be him? Didn't he try to sneak out of Meteor Street to be chased by the elders? How could he survive? Maki's pupils shrank suddenly. This man named O's is second only to Uvijin and the others in strength in this area, and he has been fighting them back and forth with his group of younger brothers. It's just that Oz was not satisfied with the life in Meteor Street not long ago, but he couldn't get the elder's permission to leave, so he wanted to secretly hide from the elder and live in the outside world. Unfortunately, it failed in the end, but was chased and killed by the elder's direct guard. Originally, Maki thought he was dead. After all, few people who were hunted down by the elders would survive. The gap between Nen and non-Nen is huge. I didn't expect that since Oz was still alive, although he seemed to have lost an arm, at least his life was saved. But how could he have the guts to provoke us? Even if Uvijin and Nobunaga are temporarily away, we may not be Oz's opponents, but even so, as long as we hide from Uvijin and they come back, isn't Oz also a failure? Maki said a little I can't figure out what Oz is thinking. But the problem is that the sixth sense's warning is so obvious that things are definitely not as simple as they seem. If you are acquainted, come out to me quickly. I don't want to ruin such a good place. If you come out obediently, I can give you a good time. Oz looked greedily at the few perfect houses in front of him. The clean white walls and facilities are out of tune with the entire meteor street. Sure enough, this is where people should live. This is the place worthy of my uncle Oz. The younger brother behind Oz looked at this paradise-like scene, and they all became agitated. This place is just perfect. Yes, yes, the boss of O's is amazing. If I can live here, I will lose ten years of life for the reason. Look at the snow-white walls, the stairs, and the wooden handrails, it's so beautiful. Quote dot 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 quote. Maki, you stay here first, I will meet them when I go out. Lin Mo stood up and said lightly to Maki. If it's not necessary, Lin Mo doesn't want to play with people before he learns to read, but it doesn't mean that he will choose to be a tortoise if he is stepped on in front of him. Although Lin Mo thinks he is weak, but with the blessing of super speed regeneration and material realization, let alone defeating O's, at least Lin Mo still has the confidence to hold out until Uvijin and the others come back. I'll go with you. Seeing that Lin Mo was going to go out to fight, Maki stood up without a word. Maki, you. Lin Mo stopped halfway through his words. Because he saw the firmness in Maki's eyes, for Maki who grew up in Meteor Street, letting her hide behind Lin Mo was not love for her, but contempt. If she can't even resist the enemy together, then her presence will be a burden to the entire team. There should be no burden on the team. This can be seen from the original Brigade chapter, Maki, who are obviously non-combatants, will also fight together when they fight. This has always been the team motto of their Meteor Street born. The leader O's couldn't beat it, and the other little brothers couldn't beat it. At least make sure that Lin Mo is not besieged by others. So Lin Mo could only nod his head and say, Okay, then I'll leave us to me, and I'll leave the other trash to you. Maki didn't say anything but nodded slightly, then followed Lin Mo out. Seeing Lin Mo and the others come out obediently, Oz showed a nasty smile on his mouth. Gia ha 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 ha, I'm very acquainted, don't worry, I've always done what I say, and I'll give you a pleasure. Suddenly Ah saw Maki behind Lin Mo, and his eyes lit up. Yo, Maki, how about you, come to my side, as long as you come over, I promise you'll be fine, and you can continue to live in such a perfect place as here, it's just a room with me, how about it? Gia ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha, yes yes yes, Maki come over to us, boss O's will definitely love you. The younger brother behind O's also began to laugh and echo with his boss. However, it was a flying knife that answered him. 
Bose looked straight, put away that disgusting smile, and slightly tilted his head to avoid Lin Mo's throwing knife. But the meanest little brother behind him who laughed before was not so lucky. Puff, the flying knife was inserted straight into his forehead, and the whole person was lifted up by the inertia of the flying knife and fell heavily to the ground. The blood began to flow on the ground under the action of gravity. He even had that sly smile on his face. Lin Mo lightly pinched his nose. Hey, has anyone ever said that your mouth is stinky, please don't talk, or you might be killed by smoke. Bose ignored Lin Mo's provocation, and was able to make a fortune in Meteor Street by himself, and even saved his life under the hands of Nen. Bose is not as brainless as he seems. The action this time was that he deliberately let people speak out, saying that Alan was going to join Karen to capture Uvagen's station. In this way, Uvagen and the others are attracted to Aaron or Karen, thereby achieving the effect of differentiation or disengagement. If Lin Mo and the others were all dispatched just now, Oss would sneak into their station and attack them when they came back. If only Uvagen or Nobunaga goes out alone, then he will directly kill the one who is acting alone, and then storm the station. If Uvagen and Nobunaga went out at the same time, it would be like this. To capture Maki and Lin Mo, two members who he thinks have little combat power, and use it as a threat, I don't say that it will be successful, but at least it will make them avoid the mouse. Oz had a lot of dealings with Uvagen and the others, and he knew very well that Uvagen and Nobunaga were both affectionate people. In addition, now that he still has a secret weapon, he will definitely be able to successfully eliminate them. But just now, Oz noticed something was wrong. He didn't even notice how Lin Mo's throwing knife came out. Looking at Lin Mo's loose home clothes, it doesn't seem like there is a place to store it. Especially after experiencing the pursuit of Nen, he is very aware of the existence of these superpowers, which has to make him sound the alarm in his heart. There was a slight retreat in my mind. But looking at the perfect residence behind Lin Mo, he was really unwilling to give up. I can only concentrate. Who are you? I have never heard of the existence of a number one person like you before. Although he had known before that Uvagen and the other three had now become a foursome, but what did he think of Lin Mo, apart from being good-looking, he didn't see anything great about it. In addition, none of the other forces in the annex recognized Lin Mo, so it was decided that Lin Mo was only lucky enough to be recruited by Uvagen and the others. Anyway, Uvagen and the others don't play cards according to the routine, and it is not impossible to collect a tow bottle when they are interested. Unexpectedly, it turned out to be the existence of a suspected superpower. Lin Mo looked at Oz who looked cautious and didn't expect that Oz, who had the word, reckless man, written all over his face, was so cautious, and suddenly decided to hide. My name is Ba Ba, if you think the word is troublesome, you can also call me a bully. Chapter 11 After hearing Lin Mo's words, there was an unnatural twitch on Maki's face. In order to prevent Oz from discovering the abnormality, he tilted his head slightly and hid it. Papa, Asa's first reaction was whether the existence of Lin Mo had anything to do with the perfect residence that Uvagen and the others had suddenly established. Then I quickly screened the slightly famous players in Meteor Street in my mind, and had to give up after searching the memory for a long time and still not having the slightest impression on whether there were any strong players who matched the word Baba. Speaking of Oz's cautious character, it is time to investigate the source of Uvagen's facilities like this. It's just how brightly watching Uvagen and the others eat deliciously every day, and I can only lie in the garbage heap looking for leftovers, and I really can't keep calm. Coupled with the fact that he is carrying a secret weapon, the whole person has swelled a lot. Now that the arrow is on the string, and I have to send it, Oz waved his hand and said. I don't care if you are a tyrant or a tyrant. Today, this place will definitely belong to me, Oz. The little ones give it to me. Whoever can kill the tyrant will be the deputy leader. Since he is really unwilling to let go of such fat, he is determined to fight to the death. The so-called life and death or destiny and wealth is in the sky, Oz inadvertently glanced at his lost right arm. Isn't it super power? The me now is not at the same level as the me before. Regardless of the prudence, it is better to let the younger brother test the ability of that tyrant. So in order to arouse the morale of the group of hyenas behind him, Oz did not hesitate to use the position of the deputy leader as a bait. Hearing this, the eyes of the rabble behind Oz suddenly lit up. The eyes that were originally shocked by Lin Mo's killing with a throwing knife were instantly covered by greed. 
Deputy Leader, if you capture this place and then take the position of Deputy Leader, wouldn't it take off directly? Maybe after Boss House captures Maki, he will still be able to get a piece of the pie. Just thinking about it makes me a little excited. Kill him. The hyenas shouted suddenly, and the people blinded by greed suddenly couldn't stand up, and they rushed towards Lin Mo with a pile of scrap metal. HMPH, a mob. Lin Mo snorted disdainfully. Although Lin Mo and Ubijin are incomparable, the predecessor is also a hyena that is somewhat famous in another area. This group of crooked melons and cracked dates is really not enough to see. With his hands, Lin Mo's left and right hands appeared five flying knives. Arms, wrists and fingers cooperated to exert force at the same time, and ten flying knives were ejected in an instant. Although the target was not as accurate as the previous fatal shot, it still hit the top ten people. Lin Mo's predecessor mainly relied on shady tricks to win, and one-handed throwing knives was still a bit level. Plus there are now infinite ammo modifiers like Substance Incarnate. Lin Mo, who was standing in the same place, immediately turned into a fort, and a handful of flying knives kept shooting out. Although the accuracy and power have decreased because of throwing 10 throwing knives at the same time each time, Lin Mo can't stand it because he shoots a lot. Ah, ah, one of them hit the front hyena with more than a dozen flying knives, and finally had to fall down unwillingly. Behind him, a hyena flashed in his mind, and suddenly lifted the fallen body up. Puff puff, a few more throwing knives were inserted. Although the corpse was about to be inserted into a hedgehog, it had to be said that it was still useful. At least the clever hyena did not suffer any harm. At this time, Maki, who was beside him, also started to move. When he stretched out a few wires in his hands, Maki was suddenly stretched straight, and the looming wires shone a little coldly under the sunlight. As soon as Maki was short, he instantly appeared in the crowd. Maki, who was already small, began to shuttle through various gaps in the crowd like a butterfly wearing flowers. This group of hyenas saw someone holding a corpse as a shield, and they all began to follow suit. But unexpectedly, although this can effectively block Lin Mo's flying knives, it also makes him lose a large part of his vision. So much so that they couldn't catch Maki's figure at all. As Maki's hands kept changing and rolling, the steel wire in his hand was played with flowers, and various wounds of ever-changing shapes began to splash blood in the crowd. What? The screams resounded in the crowd once again. One of the hyenas involuntarily put down the corpse in his hand under the pain, and subconsciously wanted to cover the wound on his leg. Lin Mo's eyes flickered, and a knife flew out, hitting the bull's eye forehead with such force that it flew off the ground. Sure enough, Ba Ba's flying knives all appeared out of thin air. That is to say, Ba Ba is indeed a superpower. Oz, who was hiding and observing Lin Mo, finally confirmed it. Think Lin Mo is the Nen. But even if it's a superpower, what about this power? I have mastered it. I'll deal with you first. As he spoke, Oz took out a dagger from his waist, but his whole body suddenly aroused. An inexplicable energy enveloped it, and then rushed towards Maki under the cover of the crowd. That's right, in the process of being hunted down by the Elder's direct guard, Oz passed the initiation at the cost of an arm, and opened aura nodes with the direct guard's psychic attack. So escaped. Through the observation just now, Oz found that Lin Mo's ability was only to create flying knives out of thin air, and both the strength and power were far from the elders' direct guards he faced before. But the drop in power might be due to the increase in defense. No matter what, Lin Mo is a capable person. Oz couldn't guarantee that he could kill Lin Mo in one hit, so he aimed at Maki. It is better to cut off one of his fingers than to hurt his ten fingers. Of course, Oz, who has been in Meteor Street all the time, understands this principle. Sting, the sixth sense is constantly warning Maki, as if a sharp blade is on the temple, and a strong sense of crisis immediately surrounds Maki. Maki's pupils shrunk to pinpoints. Can't escape. Maki, who was adjusting his body, turned his head to look in the direction of the crisis. With the strengthening of his thoughts, Oz's speed at this time was not enough for Maki to escape even if his body had not been adjusted. The figure of Oz got closer and closer, and the fierce light in his eyes became more and more intense. Ever since it was determined that Lin Mo is a capable one, Oz has given up the idea of possessing Maki. If it drags on any longer, maybe Ubijin and Nobunaga are about to come back. 
At that time, if Lin Mo and Uvijin join forces, they will have no chance at all. Anyway, as long as you occupy this place, do you want any beauties at that time? Is it going to end? In Maki's body sense, time gradually slowed down. The revolving lights began to flash. Yet there was nothing to remember in Maki's short life, when the revolving lights flashed. Maki's first thought turned out to be, Lin Mo. This guy has only been with him for a few days. What I thought of was the throbbing when he put the quilt on himself the night he just picked up Lin Mo. Good night that no one ever said to me. Comfortable and beautiful clothes, soft mattresses, delicious meals, delicious desserts. Maki suddenly discovered that all the good things in his life were actually brought by Lin Mo. Lin Mo, if I can, I really want to continue walking with you. Tears welled up in Maki's eyes, then slowly closed his eyes, waiting for death to come. Puff, it was the sound of the dagger piercing the flesh. Maki, we'll keep going. The expected pain did not come, but Lin Mo's firm voice sounded from his ears, and Maki hurriedly opened his eyes. The crimson blood flower in front of him was so conspicuous. Lin Mo, in fact, Lin Mo has been defending this LYB since Os waved his hands and let his younger brothers besiege him. From the test in the previous conversation, he could see that Os's personality was completely inconsistent with his appearance. Like his predecessor, he was a LYB who likes to smack the dark tricks. So as early as the moment Os pulled out the dagger, Lin Mo started moving in Maki's direction. Anyway, Lin Mo has super speed regeneration. If Os's target is himself, Lin Mo is not worried at all. The only worry is that his target is Maki, and if Maki is killed, he will have nowhere to cry. For Lin Mo's sudden appearance, both Maki and O's were completely unexpected. The two were stunned at the same time. With the blessing of his own strength and mind, Osa's dagger completely pierced a big hole in Lin Mo's abdomen. The blood soaked his clothes along the hole, and the blood red blood quickly spread on Lin Mo's white clothes. Lin Mo, Maki, panicked. The big crystal eyes were filled with panic, and the tears that were still in the eye sockets flowed down instantly. Somewhat overwhelmed, his hands pressed down on Lin Mo's wound, trying to block the wound so that the blood would not continue to flow. However, this was only in vain, and the blood continued to flow mercilessly. Maki raised his head blankly and looked at Lin Mo who was still smiling. When I thought about losing him, the beautiful moments in my memory began to flash through Maki's mind one by one, and then shattered. At this moment, Maki only felt that his heart was being pinched hard. Even breathing hurts. Oz, on the other hand, felt the opposite of Maki's. After a brief stupor, Asa's face was immediately filled with ecstasy. Originally, I just wanted to kill the support staff Maki first, but I didn't expect to kill the main force of Lin Mo, it was a godsend for me. He couldn't help laughing out loud. Gia ha 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 ha, I didn't expect that there are stupid people like you in Meteor Street, ba ba, don't worry, I will send the others to accompany you soon. In ecstasy, Oz didn't even notice when Maki called out Lin Mo's real name. For him, as long as Lin Mo is eliminated, he can successfully hold Maki, and then use it as a threat to kill Uvijin and Nobunaga step by step. Hum, maybe even the idea of possessing Maki, which he gave up before, could be picked up again. But what Oz didn't know was that after he was attacked by the Nen in the Elder's direct guard, he suffered initiation and was forced to open the aura nodes all over his body, and then obtained Nen. At this moment, the aura nodes all over Lin Mo's body also began to open one by one under the impact of Aos's thoughts. After all, in Asa's cognition, Lin Mo can conjure flying knives out of thin air, which proves that Lin Mo must be a Nen. Since he is a capable person from the beginning, there is no such thing as himself suddenly becoming stronger after being attacked. He didn't know what condensation was at all, and he couldn't judge by observing Lin Mo's aura. And even if Lin Mo can suddenly become stronger, with such a big hole in his abdomen, it is useless to become stronger. Boom, the huge chi burst out from Lin Mo in an instant. Lin Mo's whole body was wrapped in a steam-like chi. The chi that Lin Mo burst out unconsciously at this moment actually rose to a height of 5 or 6 meters. The so-called chi actually refers to the life energy in the body, and the ability to manipulate the life energy, the power used in attack or defense is called mind. Lin Mo merged with immortal to obtain an immortal body, and the life energy in his body can be called endless. 
Of course, it doesn't mean that Linmo is invincible from now on, let's not talk about those strange rules Nen. In terms of air volume alone, Linmo is not invincible now. It's like you have a reservoir of water, but the water outlet is just a small tap. Even if you have a lot of water yourself, it's useless if you can't get it out. Although the human gas volume is constant, it refers to the potential gas volume here. The amount of qi that can be used requires continuous practice step by step to convert one's own potential qi into one's own qi. This can be seen from Bisji's practice of Gan and Kalua in the original Ant chapter. Originally, Gan and the others could only last for a few minutes, and then they could last for half an hour later. But even so, it is enough to deal with us with the thoughts that Lin Mo just inspired. At this moment, Lin Mo's qi is so huge that even the non-condensing os can clearly see it. A coercion from the level of life constantly radiated from Lin Mo. This, this is. At this moment, Oz seemed to see a giant beast in Lin Mo that kept roaring at him. Cold sweat dripped down Oz's forehead like a waterfall. Bang! Oz's hands trembled so much that he could no longer hold the dagger. And the big hole in Lin Mo's abdomen that was opened by Oz also completed self-healing the moment Aura Nodes was opened. Lin Mo ignored Oz, who was obviously frightened by his own arrogance. From the moment he opened Aura Nodes, Oz had become a dispensable little ant. He can be pinched to death. Lin Mo stretched out his hands and watched with some curiosity that a steady stream of qi rose from his body. I remember thinking about keeping qi standing still, and then imagining my own image, imagining qi circulating through the body like blood, starting from the top of the head, through the right shoulder, hands, feet, and then go to the left, then imagine this airflow slowing down and gradually coming to a standstill, floating around you, forming a wall. Lin Mo started to recall what Yunggu said when he was teaching Gan and them, and started to do as he did. This kind of imagination is not difficult for Lin Mo at all. In an instant, the contraction of Qi was completely completed, and Qi that had risen to a height of 5 or 6 meters suddenly began to shrink, and then wrapped around Lin Mo's body smoothly. It was like being in thick mucus, but also wearing weightless clothes. Tangling. Although the visual impact of Lin Mo is not as great as before, only Lin Mo knows that the power has increased exponentially compared to before. Lin Mo took a deep breath in ecstasy. With endless vitality as a foundation, Lin Mo's qi is growing all the time. It's like turning on the automatic practice link. No way, whoever made his life force so much that it was almost overflowing. Lin Mo clenched his fists with both hands. It feels so good to have power. After admiring his newfound power for a while, Lin Mo tilted his head and looked at Oz, who was sweating wildly. How do you say I should thank you? Endless malicious thoughts radiated from Lin Mo around Maki to all directions. The malicious thoughts like a stormy sea continued to spread around Lin Mo. In an instant, the entire area seemed to turn into a pitch black vortex. The hyenas, who were barely able to stand under the attack of Lin Mo and Maki, trembled as if they were naked in an extremely cold place. In the next second, Chi Chi rolled his eyes and died because of his physical and mental burden. How should I thank you? Lin Mo tilted his head and looked at Oz jokingly. PFF'd. Oz was so frightened that he fell to the ground. Monster. Monster. From Oz's perspective, Lin Mo's black ink-like evil thoughts formed a beast that devoured people and was roaring at him with saliva. Lin. Lin Mo. You're okay. That's great. Although Lin Mo's evil thoughts deliberately avoided Maki, Maki's sudden terrifying aura on Lin Mo's body could still be clearly felt. But at this time, Maki didn't have time to worry about anything else. After seeing that the big hole in Lin Mo's abdomen had healed itself in less than a second, Maki's only concern was whether Lin Mo was all right. Lin Mo turned around and touched Maki's little head with a smile. Didn't I say, we'll keep going. Feeling Lin Mo's big hand stroking his hair, Maki's face was flushed by the sudden intimate physical contact. After admiring Maki's shyness for a while, Lin Mo looked back at Oz, who had been terrified. Looking at Oz, who had no fighting spirit, and even his legs were so weak that he couldn't stand up. Lin Mo felt a sudden lack of taste. He who just got the reading is really like testing how strong he is now. But looking at the rotten appearance of Oz, it is obvious that he is not a qualified test subject. Oh. Forget it, go to die. Lin Mo's figure disappeared in a flash. When he reappeared, 
he was already standing behind Oz with his back to him. Click. The sound of the neck being twisted came as promised, and I saw Oz's head turn 360 degrees by Lin Mo. The twisted neck slumped weakly. With the passing of life, the eyes quickly dimmed. Although Lin Mo has experienced the feeling of killing many times in Mo's memory, this is Lin Mo's first murder after all. When I first killed the hyena with a throwing knife, because the enemy didn't have time to experience it yet. Now that the dust had settled, Lin Mo looked at his hands in a complicated way. In the future, there should be a lot of people killed. Just as Lin Mo was about to step back to Maki's side, Lin Mo's body shook, and for some reason there was a throbbing in his body. Lin Mo's body twisted and twisted for a while, and the whole person instantly turned into the dead O's. Not only the body, but also the clothes are exactly the same as O's. Lin Mo, seeing Lin Mo's transformation, Maki couldn't help but exclaimed. This is, not to mention Maki, even Lin Mo doesn't understand what's going on. Just when Lin Mo had the idea of changing back, his body twisted again and changed back in the next second. Maki trotted over and looked at Lin Mo nervously. Lin Mo, that was just now. Although Lin Mo didn't quite know what the situation was, it was a familiar throb. Lin Mo knew that it was probably related to the welfare of his own crossing. So he pretended to be calm and said, it's okay, it's just a new inspiration for the ability. Thanks to him, I finally figured out how to use Nen. Maki looked at him suspiciously, really? Was your self-healing ability before that too? Yes, the essence of my ability is to be able to change all kinds of things. As long as the lost flesh and viscera are changed back, isn't it equal to self-healing? Lin Mo found a set of rhetoric. Anyway, it barely made sense. That's it. Maki always felt that something wasn't right there, but couldn't tell. Lin Mo knew Maki's magical sixth sense, so he quickly changed the subject in order not to let Maki continue to think. Maki, let's clean this place before the corpses stink and dirty our quarters. As he said that, he took the lead in picking up Osa's body and walking to the surrounding garbage dump to throw it away. Seeing this, Maki had no choice but to give up the plan to continue to investigate, anyway, Lin Mo is fine. It's so cool. It's been a long time since it's been as cool as today. That huge voice could be heard by Lin Mo and the others from far away. Sure enough, after a while, the figures of Uvijin and Nobunaga appeared in front of Lin Mo's eyes. Hey, Lin Mo, we're back. Seeing Lin Mo and Maki appearing outside the door, Uvijin thought they were here to greet him, and waved at them excitedly. I tell you, Nobunaga and I completely wiped out Alan and the others, but they refused to admit their intention to attack us before they died. As expected, rubbish is rubbish. Lin Mo and Maki didn't answer him, staring at them with two dead fish eyes. You picked a good time to come back. At this point, both Lin Mo and Maki had almost finished disposing of the corpse, and they just came back. Hearing this, the two of them were stunned. At this time, Nobunaga, who was more delicate, finally noticed the blood stains on the big hole in Lin Mo's clothes, and there were blood stains everywhere on the ground. Apparently after the war, Nobunaga frowned. What's going on? What happened here? Lin Mo, are you injured? That guy Oss attacked just now. Based on his character, it is estimated that Karen's affairs were also fake news that he arranged to pass on to you on purpose. Maki explained it simply. Oh, that sinister little thing, how dare he? MD, where is that idiot? I'm going to tear him to pieces. After hearing Maki's explanation, Uvijin was instantly furious. But isn't he being hunted down by the elders? Can he be right with his strength? Even if he is right, he still dares to run out so swaggeringly. Nobunaga felt something was wrong. Although I don't know how Oz escaped the pursuit of the elders, according to Lin Mo, Oz woke up and thought, maybe this is what he dared to do. Clap clap. Lin Mo interrupted them with a clapped hand. Okay, no matter what his calculations are, he is dead now anyway. Speaking of which, I have to thank him. Saying that, Lin Mo nodded at the piles of corpses nearby, indicating that Oz had become one of them. Then he explained to Uvijin and Nobunaga's puzzled eyes, thanks to him, I finally discovered the real use of Nian. Because Lin Mo previously explained his ability to materialize as Nen who had awakened unintentionally. In order to let my two younger brothers and old, ahem, my sister can wake up in advance. 
Now Lin Mo can only describe it as a method of understanding mindfulness. After speaking, Lin Mo also evoked a smug smile and looked at the three of them. I might be able to help you wake up now. How, are you interested in Nen? How, are you interested in Nen? As soon as Lin Mo's voice fell, the eyes of the three immediately became hot. Needless to say, Uvijin and Nobunaga are people who seek power. Of course, he is very eager for Nen, the power that has always been firmly in the hands of the elders and has been unwilling to reveal the slightest bit. The same is true for Maki, who has lived in a cannibalistic place like Meteor Street since he was a child. She simply doesn't understand the importance of strength. What's more, she just experienced a life and death crisis, and she doesn't want to experience this powerless feeling anymore. Especially. Dot the heartache at the moment when the blood flower bloomed in front of my eyes. Really, Lin Mo, can you really teach us Nen? Uva Jin couldn't believe his ears. He had asked Lin Mo about Nen before, but Lin Mo's answer was that he didn't even know what was going on. Unexpectedly, I just went out to fight today, and when I came back after stretching my muscles and bones, there was such a huge surprise. For a while Uvijin wondered if he was dreaming. Looking at the three pairs of expectant eyes with a hint of cautiousness, Lin Mo couldn't help feeling a little funny. Of course it's true. I just had a fight with O's, who is also a Nen, and I discovered a lot of ways to use Nen, among which there are ways to allow others to get Nen. It's just, at this moment, Lin Mo changed the conversation and deliberately paused for a while. Seeing this, the three of them were so anxious that they said at the same time, just what? Lin Mo smiled with satisfaction. It's just that forcing others to awaken Nen will be dangerous. You have to be mentally prepared. After listening to it, Uvijin immediately patted his chest and said, Cut, what are you afraid of? If I can't get over it, it can only mean that I am nothing more than that. We have lived with danger all these years, and the more dangerous it is, the more this power is worth being mastered by me. Seeing that both Uvijin and Nobunaga expressed their opinions, Linmo turned his attention to Maki. I want to learn. Maki's eyes were full of determination. None of the three said a word of thanks to Linmo, which did not mean that they thought it was right for Linmo to teach Nen to them. But it is not necessary, thank you very much. As early as when they accepted all kinds of magical things from Linmo, they all acquiesced in their hearts that Linmo is their boss. Of course, Maki's psyche is slightly more complicated than Uvijin and Nobunaga. In any case, the consensus among the three is that no matter what kind of help Linmo needs in the future, they will try their best to help Linmo complete it. Seeing that the three of them had already expressed their opinions, Linmo also smiled slightly. Sure enough, the three of them didn't take the danger of forced open minds in their eyes. Actually Lin Mo didn't think they would be in real danger either. 99.99% of the people who came from Meteor Street who want to become Nen are forced to open their minds successfully and then they become Nen. Since they can become Nen in the original work, and the process is derived from the result, it means that they have no risk at all in opening thoughts. In that case, before we start, let me tell you what to read. Wait a minute, Uvijin suddenly interrupted Lin Mo's speech, and then ran into the house in a hurry. Lin Mo looked at the figure of Uvijin leaving with a bewildered expression. Is he, going to shit? Unexpectedly, after a while, Uvijin came out carrying a single sofa and placed it behind Lin Mo. Uvijin, what are you doing? Hey, didn't I see you standing all the time, I was afraid that you would be tired, so I moved you a chair out. At this moment, Uvijin's big face was full of flattery. Not to mention Lin Mo, even Nobunaga, who has been with him the longest, looked at Uvijin in shock. Uvijin, I didn't expect you to be such a Uvijin. Although he was surprised that Uvijin was still flattering, Lin Mo also reacted to Uvijin's behavior. That's right, why should I stand here and talk? Wouldn't it be good to go back and talk? Lin Mo kicked Uvijin angrily. Okay, let's go back and talk about it. Forced recitation won't cause any damage. Oh, after Uvijin responded, he lifted the single seat sofa again and put it back again. Back in the living room, several people were lying comfortably on the sofa, and Lin Mo also had a can of happy fat house water in front of him. Hum, this time it was from Nobunaga. After comfortably taking a sip of fat house water, Lin Mo's face turned positive. Okay. Let's get down to business, you've heard about the profession of hunter, right? Lin Mo, 
who thought it was common sense, didn't expect the three of them to shake their heads at the same time, I haven't heard of it. Snapped. Lin Mo slapped his forehead with a slap. I almost forgot that this is the meteor street abandoned by the world, and the common sense of outsiders is not feasible here. What's wrong, Lin Mo, is this important? Uvijin scratched his head and asked in confusion. It's okay, it doesn't matter. That's good, I almost thought I couldn't learn to read if I didn't know Hunter. Uvijin breathed a sigh of relief. Hum, that's true in a way. Well, reading is the ability used by superpowers such as Hunter or the Elder's Direct Guard, and it is also the source of their superpower. Actually, each of us contains an invisible energy, that is, life energy, also known as aura, and mind is the ability to manipulate life energy and use life energy in attack or defense. For read. Saying that, Lin Mo imitated a blank piece of paper in his hand as Yun Ji Yu demonstrated to Zhu Qi and then instilled thoughts into it. I saw that the white paper, which was still hanging freely, suddenly became as hard as steel and stood upright. Then Lin Mo flicked his hand, and the soft white paper was like a flying knife, and half of it sank into the wall beside him. When Lin Mo's thoughts attached to the white paper gradually dissipated, the other half of the white paper turned soft and swaying again. Like this, no matter how soft and fragile something is, once it is attached to it, it will become hard and sharp. It can turn white paper into a sharp blade to hurt people, or it can turn the body into a steel bodyguard. Exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark. The three of Uvijin's bodies trembled in unison, seeing that what was originally just a piece of soft white paper turned out to be even harder and sharper than an ordinary blade. If the mind is attached to one's own body, knife, steel wire, how powerful will it be? Thinking of this, the eyes of the three of them became more and more hot. Can't wait to learn this amazing Nen right away. This is the so-called Nen. As long as it progresses step by step, anyone can learn to recite, which is why the elders keep hiding this power. Because once this power is exposed, everyone can become a strong with power, which will inevitably threaten their rule. So whether it's in Meteor Street or the outside world, Nian has always been a power hidden by the world. After speaking a little dry, Lin Mo poured himself another sip of happy water and continued. At present, there are only three ways to awaken mind. The first and the safest and most orthodox method is to perceive one's own life energy through practice, thereby opening the awakening of aura nodes. The second is that the Nen injects Qi into the body of the non-Nen, thereby forcing the sleeping aura nodes in the body of the non-Nen to open. This method can skip the time of cultivation, and thus immediately open the mind just the price you pay for taking shortcuts is taking a certain amount of risk. Because the forced opening of aura nodes cannot be controlled at the first time, it needs to be controlled before the life energy is exhausted. And the last one is also the most dangerous one. This is also the way Os awakens his mind, that is, being attacked by the mind. This is a more brutal method than the second method. Only those who can withstand the attack of mind and survive can successfully awaken mind. This method is also commonly known as initiation, but this method is generally all will pay a huge price such as Asa's right hand, which is estimated to be lost during the initiation. In your case, are you going to choose the first or the second? Lin Mo looked at Maki, Uvijin and Nobunaga, waiting for them to make a choice. The second type, the three of them said in unison without any hesitation. Lin Mo smiled slightly, and it really was the second choice. Speaking of which, Lin Mo, which category do you belong to? Nobunaga raised his hand in confusion and asked forehead, for a while Lin Mo didn't know how to answer his question. According to the real situation, he should belong to the third category. But in their cognition, they escaped from death and then woke up. And this near miss is not being attacked by the Nen, but a gang shootout. It should belong to the first kind, Lin Mo said uncertainly. Okay, okay, don't worry about my situation, just wake up anyway. Lin Mo waved his hand and took it with a single stroke. Okay, since you all choose the second type, who are you going to come first? Me, I'll come first, Uvijin excitedly learned Nobunaga raised his hand. Lin Mo looked at the strong Uvijin. Hum, this body type is just right for my own hands-on training. It is the first time to help people open aura nodes. It is more stable to choose those with better physical fitness. Okay, Uvijin, come and take off your clothes and turn your back to me. Yes, 
Ubijin didn't say a word, just tore off his clothes and did as he did. Boom, a powerful thought suddenly erupted from Lin Mo's body. This kind of oppression like a life level made the faces of the three people change. Maki is a little bit better, I have experienced it once before, and I am mentally prepared. But both Ubijin and Nobunaga felt it for the first time, and their pupils shrank. Is this, reading, what a terrible sense of oppression, it is like facing the most terrifying beast. But soon, the eyes of both of them were full of fire. This power, I will be able to grasp it right away. Lin Mo gradually gathered up the thoughts that kept erupting out. In fact, the forced opening of the mind only needs to maintain the entanglement, but because Lin Mo's vitality is too huge. Moreover, I have only just acquired the mind, so I am not too familiar with it, so many minds burst out all at once. It can be compared to the practice of ordinary people. After maintaining the entanglement stably, Lin Mo raised his palm and placed it behind Uvijin's back. Although he didn't really touch Uvijin, Uvijin could feel a thrust and heat constantly hitting his back. I repeat, after I help you open aura nodes, you must control it as soon as possible. If you let your chi keep flowing out, it will lead to the death of everyone. Don't worry, this power, I will definitely try my best to keep it, come on. Uvijin was not afraid at all, but instead shouted in excitement. Lin Mo nodded, did not continue to say anything, and said with concentration, come on. The hand wrapped around Nian suddenly pushed towards the void. Under the control of Lin Mo, the impact of Nian instantly covered Uvijin's whole body, opening his aura nodes in an instant. This, this is, Uvijin, whose aura nodes were opened all over his body, can already see the existence of Qi. A stream of white gas-like water vapor is coming out of the body in an endless stream. Ha 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 ha, power, power is constantly emerging. Feeling an unprecedented sense of fulfillment, Uvijin couldn't help laughing out loud. Don't smirk, I feel like you're holding on to my anger. Well, it's not that Uvijin has the strongest constitution in the brigade, but he has just started his mind, and he has already reached a certain level in terms of apparent energy. Although it is incomparable to himself, it can also be called an extraordinary talent. Listen to me, now imagine that chi circulates throughout the body like blood, starting from the top of the head, passing through the right shoulder, hands, feet. Lin Mo explained the operation process he had just done in detail. Soon, under Lin Mo's explanation, Uvijin successfully contained all his chi on the body surface. An invisible air flow emanated from Uvijin's body, and Uvijin finally formed a entanglement stably. Success. Lin Mo laughed. It seems that I am quite talented, and I succeeded in helping others to open my mind on the first attempt. Uvijin, how are you feeling now? Seeing that Uvijin had successfully activated his thoughts, Nobunaga came over curiously and asked. I feel, Uvijin took a deep breath of relief. I'll smack you with one punch now. Uvijin glanced at Nobunaga, little spicy chicken. Hearing this, Nobunaga immediately burst into a rage, I wipe it. Uvijin, wait for me. After I wake up, let's fight and see if I don't beat you out. Hearing a fight, Uvijin was immediately excited. Come here, and beat my shit out. I don't know who was crying while covering his ass last time. Nobunaga blushed with anger. You're ashamed to say, it was you who attacked you last time, okay. Cut, if you lose, you lose. What's there to say, Nobunaga little spicy chicken? Uvijin digs his booger, disdainfully. Hey, my temper, Lin Mo, come and come, give me a thought, I won't be named Kachama if I don't slap Uvijin out today. Nobunaga imitated Uvijin, ripped off his clothes, and stood with his back to Lin Mo. When Lin Mo saw this, he could only shake his head helplessly. The two were really a pair of treasures. The right hand was raised and placed on Nobunaga's back. With the experience just now, Lin Mo didn't have too many thoughts this time. The process was the same as Uvijin just now, and Nobunaga awakened very smoothly. Ha 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 ha, Uvijin, come and come, let's go out and fight. Feeling the majestic power rising in his body, Nobunaga pulled Uvijin excitedly and ran out. In a blink of an eye, only Maki and Linmo were left in the room. Cough, that, Maki, you have to take off your clothes. Linmo reminded a little embarrassedly. This is really not Linmo's filthy thoughts. In his impression, Yunji Yu did say that he wanted to take off his clothes. 
This is not made up by Lin Mo. Cough, that, Maki, take off your clothes. After Rubijin and Nobunaga left, Lin Mo always felt that the atmosphere suddenly turned pink. Maki pursed his lips, and after a moment of silence, spoke in a slightly lower voice than usual. Lin Mo, can we go back to the room? Although on the surface, Maki's expression did not change much from usual, but the sharp-eyed Lin Mo still noticed that Maki's ears were slightly red. Ah, oh, of course you can. Indeed, before Ubijin Nobunaga and the two rough guys were nothing, Maki, as a girl, did feel strange to undress in the living room. Not to mention in a place like Meteor Street where precocious puberty is common, even in a previous life, an 11-year-old girl has long realized that there is a difference between men and women. Speaking of which, Lin Mo had been in love since the third grade in his previous life. At that time, Lin Mo was two years younger than Maki. After the two came to Maki's room, Maki started taking off his shirt with his back to Lin Mo. Looking at Maki's white and tender back, Lin Mo had to sigh that it was a natural beauty. Maki, who grew up in a polluted and nutrient-deficient place like Meteor Street, can still maintain white and tender skin. Isn't this natural beauty? Having said that, it seems that the people who join the brigade are basically not ugly. Peeling and splitting husband is due to the relationship between the famous ethnic culture, and he has made himself strange. Since he doesn't know what he originally looks like, he ignores it for the first time. The same is true for Kube, who has been covering his face with his hair from beginning to end, so he doesn't know what he looks like, so it is ignored. Even Ubijin's rough man and Nobunaga's prodigal son have obvious target groups. The only one who can be called not so good looking is Franklin, but the people of Magian should like him very much. The female members are more talented than each other. In addition to Maki, there are also white and big and dumb and white and big. Speaking of which, do you want to accept Pakunoda? Although I appreciate her connotation very much, but to be honest, her face is very ordinary. Kiki. I can't think about it anymore, I have to concentrate on it. Lin Mo immediately pulled back the thoughts he had already fancied. Maki, I'm going in, cough, I'm coming. Um, feeling the heat from Lin Mo's hand, although he knew that Lin Mo's hand didn't touch him, Maki's neck still started to turn red. The next process, Lin Mo is already familiar with. Inject the mind into Maki's body, and then open Maki's originally closed aura nodes. After a set of procedures, Lin Mo successfully opened up for Maki. Looking at Maki who was blushing and gasping, Lin Mo decided to let her rest for a while. Hum, because Maki didn't fully concentrate like Ubijin and Nobunaga just now, he lost a little more energy. So this happened. Ah, toilet toilet. As soon as he came out of Maki's room, Lin Mo heard Ubijin's loud voice echoing in the room. I have to say that Ubijin's voice really deserves to be a high kill weapon that can instantly kill yin beasts in the future. Even before he even thought of it, Lin Mo, who was still on the second floor, made his ears ring a little. Ubijin, what the hell are you doing? Lin Mo rubbed his ears and shouted downstairs. Hey hey hey, I finally got my revenge for the last kill. Lin Mo, who had just come downstairs, didn't wait for Ubijin's answer when he saw Nobunaga walk in with a bruised face. Uvijin, who was in the toilet, became excited when he heard Nobunaga's words. You ask Nobunaga, this perverted madman, what kind of fight is he? He doesn't care about anything else, he's just staring at my next three. I've never seen someone as perverted as him. Uvijin was aggrieved like a child weighing more than 300 pounds. Originally, Uvijin had a good idea, and wanted to try to see how strong he became after awakening Nen. Unexpectedly, Nobunaga, the thick-eyed and big-eyed man, didn't intend to fight him at all. No matter how he hit him, he would not defend and focus on his own Kiku Beria. Even under Nobunaga's mad dog style of play, he was giving him the right opportunity to kill him for a thousand years, and use his own way to return to him. Will you plug your eyes once soon? Do you have to come back with such vengeance? You know, this time Nobunaga performed the Millennium Kill in a state of entanglement. Ni, Nobunaga Kachama, if you say shit you Uvijin today, shit. Nobunaga, who successfully defended his surname, proudly announced with a face that was beaten into a pig's head. Uvijin, who was still temporarily unable to get out of the toilet, felt the burning pain of Kiku. Nobunaga, you wait for me, let's see if I don't come back next time. 
Uvijin bit the tissue in humiliation, his voice trembling a little. Lin Mo's lips twitched a few times, trying to laugh but couldn't. Inexplicably, he looked at Nobunaga, who raised his head like a rooster in a fight. It seems that the two are destined to fall in love and kill each other in the future. Dot dot dot. At night, night falls. Lin Mo and the others ate dinner on the Wonghuli wooden table as always. Food is still what Lin Mo uses to materialize and materialize. Since he is skilled in material manifestation, Lin Mo no longer has the embarrassment of directly touching the flesh with his palm. Today's Lin Mo can also combine and materialize the plate. After resting in his room for a while, Maki came down. Originally, Lin Mo was a little worried that the atmosphere would be a little awkward. But then it turns out that the words are completely overthinking, under the unconscious gag of Uvijin and Nobunaga. The atmosphere didn't change, and Maki's expression didn't change either, as if nothing had happened. Only Lin Mo was a little guilty. Lin Mo, I really love you so much. How did you come up with so many delicious things? I feel like I can't think of so many things even if I imagined it out of thin air. After dinner, Uvijin sighed while picking his teeth. Maki and Nobunaga on the side also nodded in agreement. Except for the first Kobe beef, the food that Lin Mo has developed since then are all Chinese cuisines. The various delicacies dazzled the three of them. Lin Mo rolled his eyes at Uvijin. Uvijin, don't be disgusting with me, these are all dishes from my hometown. A flash of nostalgia flashed in Lin Mo's eyes. I don't know if I will have a chance to go back within my lifetime. My parents have younger siblings to take care of, so even if I learn the news of my absence, I shouldn't be too sad. Feeling the inexplicable sadness emanating from Lin Mo, Maki quietly and quietly held Lin Mo's hand under the table. Lin Mo gave Maki a surprised look. If it was when they first met, Maki would definitely not have made such an action. It seems that Maki has changed a lot during this period of time. Lin Mo smiled at Maki and said that he was fine. There are only two neurotic people, Uvijin and Nobunaga, who can't read air at all. Oh, Lin Mo, do you still have your hometown? I thought you, like us, have been living in Meteor Street all the time. In fact, people born in Meteor Street are not necessarily born in Meteor Street from the beginning. For example, Faden, when he is angry, will occasionally say his hometown dialect. It can be seen that some people may come to Meteor Street from the place where they originally lived for some reason. And Meteor Street's creed is, we don't reject anything, but don't try to take anything from us. So for this part of the crowd, Meteor Street also chose to accept it without hesitation. These are not important, anyway, in this world, I am a person from Meteor Street. Lin Mo waved his hand, not wanting to talk more on this issue. After Uvijin had thrown away all the rubbish on the dining table, Lin Mo gathered everyone in the living room again. Lin Mo looked at Uvijin and Nobunaga angrily. After I opened the mind for you before, you all rushed to the duel. Do you still want to listen to the practice after opening the mind? Hearing this, the three of them were stunned. Ha, huh, is there any special practice after the recitation? Uvijin asked Lin Mo blankly. Nonsense. Although physical fitness is also very important in the battle between Nen, the most important thing is mindfulness, so after opening mindfulness, physical exercise becomes less important, and more important is the development of mindfulness, otherwise where do you think those weird superpowers come from? As soon as they heard about becoming stronger, Uvijin and Nobunaga immediately became good babies, staring at Lin Mo with fiery eyes. Even Maki sat up subconsciously. Looking at the few people who turned into three good students in one second, Lin Mo nodded with satisfaction. After awakening, Nen people mainly practice in the following four aspects, namely entanglement, absolute practice, hair, which are also commonly known as the four great elements. Tangling is to concentrate the mind and stare at oneself. To calm the mind, it is a mental concentration method to make the emotions stable. It stabilizes the chi that flows around the whole body. During combat, the strength of the entanglement is equal to the defensive power of the mind attack. Absolute can tighten and isolate the chi and breath of the whole body, making one's own sense of existence weak. In the state of absolute, the defense against the attack of the mind approaches zero. In the state of fatigue, it enters the state of absolute helps restore physical strength. Refining is to entangle the mind to concentrate, burst out a powerful aura, and refine and sublimate the will. 
The energy refined in the body is sent out from the aura nodes at the same time, releasing more energy than usual. F.A. The will to practice can change depending on the object. The so-called, win with momentum, I will not move, the enemy will retreat. This is also the master of Nen, who freely manipulates and uses one's own chi, that is, the so-called superpowers. The above are called the four elements, collectively referred to as mindfulness, which is to, sublime the mind, exercise the mind, and the basis of all fighting skills are the four elements. In other words, it is the practice of enhancing the process of self-will. Lin Mo slowly explained the reading mentioned in the original book to them. Normally, Lin Mo has long forgotten these detailed knowledge points in the original work, but Lin Mo can't help himself to hypnotize himself. Human memory is so magical. Many things that you think you have forgotten are actually not forgotten at all. They are just classified by the brain as unimportant information and hidden. As long as he takes himself back to the scene when he was reading the comic, Linmo can clearly see every word in it. Uvijin, Nobunaga and Maki carefully recorded every word that Linmo said. Don't look at Uvijin's usual appearance of not being very smart, he is just a big nerve, it does not mean that his intelligence is wrong. So it is not difficult to memorize what Linmo said. Of course, after all, the body is the root of everything, so I can't let go of the physical exercise when I practice mind. After thinking about it, Lin Mo added. Although if we look at Kurapika's example, it seems that physical fitness does not have a big impact on combat power. But not to mention that Kurapika has the physique of the fiery red-eyed double-mindedness system, just his absolute time Krypton life flow style cannot be solved by common sense. So Lin Mo thought about it for a while, but still reminded them that they can't improve their physical fitness. Ha ha ha, Lin Mo, don't worry, I won't let go of my physical training. Uvijin patted his chest muscles and laughed. The other two nodded in understanding. Very good, the next part is the next part, to determine the division of each of you. Because everyone's physique, aptitude, character and growth environment are different, the thoughts generated in the body will also be different. Roughly speaking, the mind is systematically divided into six categories, namely enhancer, conjurer, transmuter, manipulator, emitter, and trait. One can easily develop a nen of a department, but a nen of a non-department is not easy to achieve. After speaking, Lin Mo visualized paper and pen in his hand, and then drew nen's schematic diagram on the paper. After painting, he turned the angle to show them, and then continued, for the specific difficulty, please refer to this picture. The farther away from the department you belong to, the more difficult it is to complete it. If you say that your own line can exert 100% of the power, the adjacent line is 80%, and the next one is 60%, and so on. Enhancer can enhance the original nature of oneself or the weapon. It can maximize the ability of attack, defense and healing. Transmuter chi can still maintain power outside the body, and can be sent to places far away from the body. Release the body's chi. The released chi can change the appearance, attack the enemy or execute orders. The emitter can control the object by injecting its own thoughts into the object, inject it into the body of the other person, and control the other person. If it injects the object, it can control the object. Conjurer can change the nature or shape of the chi produced, and the chi of conjurer nen is usually quite malleable. Manipulator can transform the form of his chi into what he wants, that is, to materialize the chi. After speaking, Lin Mo paused, but the trait system is a bit different. Nen that does not belong to the above five types are classified into this category. That is to say, if you don't belong to the trait system, no matter how you cultivate, you will not be able to cultivate the ability to come out of the trait system. After Lin Mo finished speaking, Nobunaga immediately raised his hand. I know I know, Lin Mo, you must belong to the manipulator, so you can conjure all kinds of things. To be honest, Lin Mo hasn't tested his lineage yet, but he can probably infer from the mutation in his body that he should be a trait type. But Nobunaga's words choked Lin Mo all of a sudden. For a while, I didn't know how to respond. Ah, this, that's right. The so-called one lie requires countless lies to cover up. Whether it was the matter of time travel or the benefits brought by time travel, Lin Mo never intended to let the second person know. Not even Maki. So at this time Lin Mo can only bite the bullet and say that he is a manipulator. Anyway, in terms of ability, there is absolutely nothing wrong with calling him a manipulator. 
All right, all right, come and test it and see what kind of thinking you all have. Lin Mo quickly diverted the topic away from himself. As he spoke, he stretched out his hands and embodied three glasses filled with water and three leaves. Then put a leaf on top of each of the three glasses of water. Although Lin Mo already knew what they were related to, the necessary process was still to be done. Come on, each of you has a cup, and you can just output your thoughts to the water cup. This method is called the Mizumi style identification method, which is a diagnostic method for identifying one's own mind power system, which was developed by the Heart Source Style Boxing School founded by Isaac Netero, the president of the Hunter Association, the strongest in the world. The most accurate way to tell. If the amount of water in the water glass increases after entering the chant, it means you are an enhancer. If the taste of water changes, it's conjurer. Things that appear as crystals in water are manipulators. If the color of the water changes, you are a transmuter. When the leaves on the water move, it's an emitter. If there is a phenomenon that is different from the other five lines, it belongs to the trait line. After listening to Lin Mo's words, Uvijin squinted his eyes. Lin Mo, the strongest in the world you mentioned just now, Isaac Netero, the president of the Hunter Association, what is he? Just heard Lin Mo call it the strongest in the world, obviously hitting Uvijin's point. Everything else becomes a little irrelevant in the face of the strongest in the world. Become stronger than anyone. This has always been the creed of Uvijin. Although it has not yet been clear that the goal of hitting a nuclear bomb with one punch is not clear. But for becoming stronger, Uvijin has always had an obsession that is far beyond ordinary people. Looking at Uvijin's fighting spirit, Lin Mo's mouth twitched, enhancer. Uvijin grinned. Is that so, I guess. When he heard Lin Mo's introduction to Enhancer just now, Uvijin was full of yearning for this category, and he had a hunch that he should also be an Enhancer. Lin Mo pushed the three glasses of water in front of them, come on, let's all try to see what kind of system you are. After the three of them took the cup, they started thinking towards the cup without hesitation. The water in the cups of Uvijin and Nobunaga began to overflow continuously as their thoughts were activated. Enhancer both Uvijin and Nobunaga were beaming. One only believes in his own body, the other only believes in his own knife. For them, Enhancer is the best class. On the other hand, Maki, no matter how he activated the Nen Cup, did not change. This made Maki frown. Seeing Maki's anxiety, Lin Mo couldn't help but feel a burst of laughter, let's taste the water. Hearing Lin Mo's reminder, Maki remembered Conjurer's characteristics. It can only be said that the authorities are crazy, the usual Maki would not make such a childish mistake. The finger lightly tapped the water in the water glass, and then stretched out the pink tongue to lick the finger. A bit sweet. Maki, who became calm again, returned to the coldness in his eyes and said to Lin Mo. Conjurer, can change the nature of chi and form. Maki glanced thoughtfully at the steel wire that appeared in his hands at some point. Like Kurapika, the first thing that popped into Maki's mind after learning that he was thinking was a thread. Okay, now that the department has been determined, in addition to the daily practice of mindfulness, we can also conduct special training for various departments. Now, try to focus on your eyes. Lin Mo stretched out a finger and worked hard to shape Chi into, one. After all, Lin Mo himself just woke up. Ah, Lin Mo, there seems to be a, one foot on your finger. Uvijin pointed at the crooked, one, formed by reading on Lin Mo's finger in surprise. Lin Mo nodded. The skill you use to focus your energy on your eyes is called congealing, and this is also an applied skill that must be maintained at all times in the fight against the Nen. As you can see, if you don't use Nen, you can't see the, one foot on my finger. Similarly, if you don't maintain Nen during the battle with the enemy, you may be hit by the enemy's Nen, don't know. Oh. Seeing that the three of them looked like good students, Lin Mo could feel a sense of accomplishment as a teacher. Conjurer's exercise method is to form numbers from 1 to 10 on the fingers in the shortest time possible, and set a small goal for yourself first, within 5 seconds. Lin Mo looked at Maki and started to set up homework for Maki. Maki didn't say anything, just nodded. I also started to learn from Lin Mo, raised my fingers and started to try. Then Lin Mo turned his head and looked at him, Uvijin and Nobunaga. If you strengthen it, it's easy to say, that is, knocking on a rock. Knock on the stone. The two were stunned at the same time. 
That's right, knocking on a rock. Although it may sound childish, it's actually the easiest and most effective method in the early stages. Use your mind to strengthen a stone so that it can break as many stones as possible, and at the same time keep the stone in your hand from breaking. This is not as simple as you think. L. Then they also assigned homework. You also set a small goal first, breaking a thousand pieces with one stone in one day. These two methods are the most suitable techniques for novice cultivation, which are summed up by a certain heart source senior. As your first stage of cultivation, it can be said to be just right. While Lin Mo was talking, on the other side of the continent, in an unknown five-star hotel suite, a blonde little lily was comfortably enjoying the professional massage of Miss Cookie, a magical beautician transformed by her nen. Ah, little lily sneezed suddenly and without warning. It always feels like someone is talking bad about me. After muttering, the little lowly turned over and continued to enjoy Miss Cookie's massage. Back to Meteor Street. After finishing the explanation, Lin Mo walked outside and spread out his hands, and directly embodied two piles of stones for Ruvijin and the others to practice. This will also prevent them from picking up some stones outside that they do not know will be contaminated with something, and contaminating the environment where they live. Ho -ah ho. Thanks Lin Mo. Let's try it now. After speaking, the two picked up a stone and knocked on it. Lin Mo looked at Maki, who was practicing alone in the living room, and Erha, who was banging on stones excitedly outside. Lin Mo smiled silently, then turned his head back to his room. Whether it's the new ability acquired after killing Oss or his true affiliation, you need to confirm it carefully. Clap. Lin Mo gently locked the door. Now, it's time to take a good look at your abilities. Well, let's confirm the mind system first. When it comes to the hunter world, what Lin Mo looks forward to most is Nen. This Lin Mo believes that anyone who has the opportunity to travel to the hunter world should be the same. Call out. Lin Mo's hand showed the same water glass that Uvijin used for their test. After putting the water glass on the desk, Lin Mo held the water glass with both hands. When the mind moves, the thought starts immediately. With the activation of Lin Mo's inner thoughts, a twist began to slowly appear in the center of the water glass. The amount of water in the cup has been decreasing since the twist in the cup. If Lin Mo had retained the memory of the time he crossed, he would suddenly find that the distortion was exactly the same as the space distortion he created when he crossed. Too bad he didn't. Is it really a trait? Just what does this distortion mean? Although Lin Mo has long guessed that his mind system is a trait system. But Lin Mo looked at the vision that was constantly twisting and absorbing water, and for a while he couldn't tell what the properties were. Absorption, distortion, or, space, since he could not immediately identify the attributes of mindfulness, Lin Mo could only keep increasing the output of mindfulness. Anyway, Lin Mo doesn't have much else, just enough energy. Boom. Lin Mo's firepower is fully on, and it directly changes from tangling to practice. As Lin Mo increased the output of his thoughts, the distortion in the water cup began to get bigger and bigger. Until the end, the entire cup was absorbed by the twist into a black dot, and then disappeared. Looking at the empty desk, Lin Mo's expression gradually became ecstatic. Ha 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 ha, it's a space, no matter in that world, space or time, these two abilities are the existence of high-end power. The last wave of the water cup disappeared, Lin Mo felt very kind. Although Lin Mo did not have the memory of time travel, the feeling at that time was still left in the depths of Lin Mo's soul. It should be that his soul was contaminated with the breath of space during the travel process, causing his thoughts to also have space attributes. After confirming the attributes of Nen, Lin Mo already had some ideas for the development of Nen. Among so many works in the previous life, there should not be too many spatial abilities. As for whether he can successfully develop these abilities, Lin Mo is not worried at all. Not that Lin Mo is conceited that he is a peerless genius. Rather, there are rules in this world. Named, constraint and oath. The big deal is that the talent is not enough, so life will make up for it. If you really can't develop it, then learn Kurapika Kryptonite. As long as he made an oath to spend a certain amount of life force every time he used an ability, he would not believe that he could not develop it himself with a complete ability idea. Still the same sentence, Lin Mo doesn't have much else, but more vitality. Okay, then the next thing is the new ability. 
When Lin Mo thought about it, his whole body was enveloped by a magical wave. After a twist, Lin Mo turned into Oz again. The clothes, the broken arm, and a large golden tooth in the mouth are all identical to those of the dead O's. A magical feeling. Lin Mo looked at his body carefully and muttered to himself. Hum, the voice is also Oz's voice. In addition to the exact same appearance, Lin Mo also instinctively felt in a deeper spiritual aspect. In addition to memory, he actually possesses all the skills that Oz knows. In one hand, Lin Mo's right hand embodied a dagger of the same style as O's. Lin Mo gestured towards the void twice. Lin Mo, who has never been exposed to dagger practice, can actually control the dagger in his hand proficiently. Spin, jump, all kinds of fancy dagger movements were used from Lin Mo's hands one after another. There is no doubt that this is the dagger specialization that O's, who has always used daggers as weapons, has cultivated. Unfortunately, Oz hasn't developed his own Nen, otherwise, you can try to see if it can be copied with other people's Nen. After experiencing Oz's skills for a while, Lin Mo stopped. After confirming that the mimicry becomes someone else's, along with the skills of others, it becomes his own, the first thought that Lin Mo had. Does this mean that someone else's Nen can be copied in the future? It's a pity that Oz didn't develop Nen. With a thought, Lin Mo instantly changed back to his own body. After changing back to his own body, Lin Mo picked up the dagger and gestured again. It's a pity that this time, he didn't have the proficiency he had when he became Aus. Lin Mo, who wanted to learn some tricks just now, made two holes for himself. Although the self-healing was completed in less than a second, the pain was real pain. Lin Mo frowned and looked at the dagger in his hand. Although he guessed it would be like this, Lin Mo was obviously not satisfied with the result. To be honest, Lin Mo doesn't really want to mimic someone else's appearance. Especially someone like Oz, who is ugly and disabled. Forget it, let's call it a complete mimicry for now. Although the current full mimic can only use other people's skills when mimicking, it doesn't mean that Lin Mo can't develop on it. It is like material manifestation, which can only be single as an object. Isn't it possible to perform combined realization now? Lin Mo just absorbed the ability of undying, not completely turning into undying. Otherwise, Lin Mo's body should be a sphere, not a flesh and blood human being. In terms of complete mimicry, undying may not be able to carry out in-depth development, which does not mean that Lin Mo can't. Next, in addition to the development of Nen, Lin Mo can also start to try the development of partial mimicry and pure skill mimicry. Lin Mo doesn't need to worry about his chi. For him, who is full of vitality, his chi is automatically increasing all the time. Lin Mo just needs to focus on the development of capabilities. In the next month, Lin Mo and the others were doing their own cultivation in an orderly manner. It is worth mentioning that, for Uvijin's rock beating practice, Lin Mo forgot to tell them the application technique of tangling Zhou. Unexpectedly, when they woke up the next day, they found that they had understood the application of Zhou on their own. After seeing Lin Mo get up, Nobunaga excitedly ran over to take credit and said that he had discovered a new way of chanting. As expected of the wild way that the original book can explore on its own, it has grown into an existence that even a systematically trained professional hunter can't compete with. In terms of talent, they may be a little less interesting than gone. But the sense of touch in combat can be said to be a first-class existence. During this month, Lin Mo did not interfere too much with their ability development except for teaching them the advanced application skills of reading step by step. Like the original, since Lin Mo taught Uvijin hard, Uvijin seems to have found a direction in life and developed a super destructive fist. Although at present it seems that this is just a hard fist. A true super destruction fist poured into its own will, not yet transformed into the original. But you can still start to see the shadow of the original. As for Nobunaga, he is the same, planning to take the path of combining circle and weak with swordsmanship. It's just that round and hard are different. Circle is more difficult to learn than hard. So so far, Nobunaga has not completely structured its own Nen. In fact, if only the development of Nen is concerned, Maki is the most advanced of the three. Not only the fastest person to complete Lin Mo's homework, but also the first to complete his own Nen development. 
It has to be said that Maki does have a unique talent in micro-manipulation, and her natural sixth sense alone can bring her a considerable bonus. Ouch. It hurts, hurts, hurts. Uvijin was sitting in the living room again today, covered in stab wounds, and Maki was standing by to help him sew up the wound. When Maki uses sutures, there is no future level of 100% perfect suture of blood vessels, bones, nerves and muscles at super fast speed. Uvijin, who was sutured by Maki, felt more pain than when he was cut by Nobunaga before. Since Lin Mo helped Uvijin and Nobunaga to start their meditation, they have been fighting almost every day. One was slashed with stab wounds, and the other was beaten with a bruised face. This image has become their norm. And every now and then, one of them gets shit. Sure enough, inserting eyes has become an obsession in their hearts. As long as he finds an opportunity, he will not hesitate to give each other a shot. Maki is probably to blame for their ability to develop Nen so quickly. With Uvijin and Nobunaga, two recyclable test resources, Maki's mastery of mind lines and healing abilities are rapidly improving. And Uvijin and Nobunaga have Maki as a nurse, and they can also let go of their hands and feet and learn from each other, so as to confirm each other and grow rapidly. It can be said that the three have formed a perfect closed loop in cultivation. In the past month, the growth of the three of them can almost kill a group of people called geniuses in the outside world. But it's all relative. If the three Maki are still at the stage of genius, Linmo can be called strong at all. Leaving aside the progress in other aspects, if we only talk about the gas volume, if we use the ability of Kulu, the heaven knows only me to lose, Linmo's gas volume is probably around 100,000. Don't look at it as if it's not enough compared to Menthuthuyupi's 700,000 Chi, one of the three guardians of the Ant King. According to the description of the original book, Netero's current gas volume is only around 300,000. That is to say, in another two months or so, Linmo will be able to match the current world number one powerhouse Netero in terms of gas volume. Although the strength of Netero is not in the volume. But you must know that Linmo has not practiced any Chi Chi practice at all in the past month. It is the result of self-improvement completely relying on the endless vitality in the body. What's more, Linmo, who has endless vitality, does not run out of gas at all. No matter how Lin Mo consumes, it will be restored to its original state in the next second. It's just that the instant burst of Qi can't be more than 100,000. It's just a matter of volume. This month, Lin Mo has focused more on the development of space capabilities. It has to be said that space capabilities are really difficult to develop. Even Lin Mo, who has unlimited energy and can keep trying, and has his own space in his soul. It was only then that the first ability was developed. It's not that Lin Mo doesn't want to die, but Lin Mo found out that restrictions and oaths can only be used on the basis of developed abilities. Just like Kurapika, after he embodied the chain, he made restrictions and vows based on the chain's additional abilities. Kurapika's master Izinabi said when he taught Kurapika at the time that you can't manifest chains that never break, but you can manifest chains that hardly break through restraints and vows. It can be seen that the use of constraints and oaths must first be developed with Nen. Otherwise, you have nothing, what is your next constraint? What's more, constraint and oath are essentially Nen's amplifiers, which are used to increase their power. But that's enough. Although Lin Mo's Nen is so reluctantly developed that its power is simply dispensable. But that's it. The endless vitality in his body can finally come in handy for them. Krypton Life Uvijin, Nobunaga, Maki Uvijin and Nobunaga, who were still fighting, stopped instantly when they heard Lin Mo's words. Because at this time Lin Mo's tone was completely different from usual, full of seriousness. The three of them looked back at Lin Mo at the same time, waiting for what he was going to say next. Relax, it's a good thing. Feeling the atmosphere that was a little solidified, Lin Mo smiled, calming down a bit. I have some breakthroughs in reading and what I have to do next may be more dangerous, so I plan to retreat for a while. For the rest of the time, don't let anything disturb me before I leave the room. Regarding restrictions and oaths, Lin Mo only knew that the tower is very dangerous through the original book. Make rules, swear in your heart, and stick to them. The more difficult the rules, the more powerful they will be. The difficulty of restraint and oath, Lin Mo did not know. The time required for the whole process to come down is also unclear. 
The only thing I know is that constraints and vows are like a double-edged sword. If the oath is broken, Nen will be destroyed by reaction. Therefore, once there is interference in the formulation process, although Linmo is not worried about life problems. But God knows if it will cause the Nen that I finally developed to fail. So for the sake of stability, Linmo still told Uvijin that they were going to retreat for a while. Let them help guard, don't let anyone disturb you as well. When they heard Lin Mo say that there might be danger, the three eyes froze at the same time. There was a hint of worry in Maki's eyes. But they didn't plan to persuade Lin Mo to give up. Because they themselves are people who are willing to take risks for the sake of strength. If you don't even dare to face the mere danger, how can you get stronger? Don't worry, we will never let anyone in. Upon seeing this, Lin Mo nodded with a smile turned around and prepared to go back to the room to start the formulation of constraints and vows. Before closing the door, I remembered Maki's worried eyes, and finally added, don't worry, it won't be life-threatening. Although Lin Mo didn't specify who he was speaking to, it was obvious from Maki's sixth sense that Lin Mo said it to himself on purpose. The corners of his mouth evoked a beautiful arc. Suddenly, Maki seemed to think of something. He turned his head sharply and looked at Uvijin and Nobunaga with cold eyes. From now on, if you dare to speak loudly, I will screw your heads off both of you. Chapter 21 Lock the door Lin Mo sat cross-legged on the bed. He calmed down and sat quietly for a long time. Ah! Dot how is this going to be done? After sitting for a long time, Lin Mo had no idea how to start the restriction and vow. Regarding constraints and oaths, Lin Mo knows how to make rules and swears in his heart. I only know that Nen who obeys the rules is multiplication. If the power is multiplied and violated, the consequences will be serious. As for the specific vow, Lin Mo doesn't know at all. Lin Mo had sworn in his heart for a long time just now, but he didn't see any reaction. Once again, I, Lin Mo, swear by my life here. From now on, as long as I use the unlimited spell, it will consume a certain amount of life force. The wider the coverage area, the more life force will be consumed. More, the stronger the attack, the more vitality it consumes. Four oaths in a row will consume life force. In the whole world, Lin Mo dared to play like this. If others did, he would have exhausted his life before he activated it a few times. After waiting for a long time, Lin Mo still didn't feel any change. Lin Mo tentatively stretched out his right hand and activated Nen. Ohm. With the activation of the ability, Lin Mo's right hand began to emit a wave that was invisible to the naked eye. After sensing it for a while, Lin Mo scratched his hair and said with a big head, nothing has changed. Even if Lin Mo consumes all his explicit thoughts, he can only extend the space in his right hand by about one meter. Unlimited Spell, this is Nen developed by Lin Mo with reference to the passive ability Unlimited Spell of Gojo Satoru, the ceiling of combat power in the Battle of Spells. The Unlimited Technique is an ancestral technique from the Gojo family, which can interfere with matter at the atomic level and dominate space. Bring the Converging Infinite series in the Magical Unbounded Achilles, Paradox, to reality. This distance can be infinitely reduced indefinitely, and the infinite spell can realize this concept in a certain space in reality. There is no lower limit spell, and there is no active attack. The closer it is to the object of Gojo Go, the slower it will become, as if it stopped. In this state, no attack can hit Gojo Go. And Lin Mo's unlimited spell is based on Gojo Satoru's ability to infinitely superimpose and extend the space in front of him, making it impossible for the opponent's attack to hit him. And a little change was added on top of this, that is, he can freely manipulate the direction in the wireless superposition extension space at the same time. The specific performance is that Lin Mo can bounce the opponent's attacking moves back or make it attack in another direction. After Lin Mo's magical transformation, the unlimited spell is more like vector manipulation than an infinite spell. It's just because Lin Mo essentially controls space rather than vectors, that Lin Mo is named unlimited spell instead of vector manipulation. I have to say that the unlimited spell developed by Lin Mo is very incomprehensible in terms of setting. It is also worthwhile for Lin Mo to spend a whole month without sleep to develop it with unlimited supply. In a digression, after integrating undead, Lin Mo can sleep, but it is not necessary. He can eat, and it is also not necessary. Simply put, 
Lin Mo has no physical compulsion at all, only if he wants to. But it is precisely because of the lack of solution of the unlimited spell that it also consumes an unusually large amount of qi, and it is not enough to have qi alone. If you want to develop it to the depths, you have to have a certain degree of understanding of spatial properties. Otherwise, the gas consumption will increase exponentially. For example, Lin Mo can now superimpose the space in front of him to 50 centimeters if he consumes 10,000 qi. But if he wanted to extend the stack to 1 meter, Lin Mo had to consume 100,000 qi to do it. The further back you go, the more gas you need to consume. This is why most people only have one nen. It's not that they don't want to develop more capabilities, or that they can't develop other capabilities, but reality simply doesn't allow them to. From the original Chinese stone Dulong, he is obviously the nen of the enhancer, but he not only developed the ability of the enhancer such as tiger bite fist but also successfully developed the double body of the manipulator. Although Hua Shi Dulong's talent accounts for a large part of the reason why he can develop multiple abilities. But it can also be seen that Nen can develop two or more Nen. Just Gon's guessing, if it is successfully developed according to his vision, this is equivalent to three abilities. The problem is that being open does not mean they are willing to develop. In the final analysis, it is because everyone knows that the ability is in the essence and not in the many. Nen needs continuous in-depth research to make it more and more powerful. What if you had a thousand abilities? Every ability hits like a mosquito bite. And Lin Mo doesn't have these problems. Anyway, as long as he develops an ability, he can directly enhance his life through restrictions and vows. In this way, the limit of Lin Mo's abilities is only in how many abilities Lin Mo can develop. Fortunately, Lin Mo's soul has its own aura of space, otherwise it would be a matter of Krypton life. It would be nice to be able to develop a capability within 10 years at Lin Mo's request. Ah, sure enough, is it still possible? Lin Mo softened his hair a little irritating. Constraints and oaths are the key to the subsequent development of Lin Mo, and they are existences that must be overcome. I don't know if you have ever experienced a feeling that when playing FPS games, the mouse is always almost clicked. At this time, there is a feeling in my heart that I want to vent and smash the mouse. Now Lin Mo has this feeling in his heart. Call. Lin Mo suppressed the destructive desire in his heart and forced himself to calm down. Then I began to recall all the constraints and vows that appeared in the original book, trying to see if I could find any similar patterns. Fujian old thief. Dig a hole and don't bury it, I wish you an early loss of your family property. Lin Mo cursed in his heart. As long as the old thief of Fujian can bury more holes, it will not make Lin Mo so clueless now. When it comes to the constraints and vows that appeared in the original work, the two people who first come to mind are Kurapika and Gon followed by Franklin's two-handed machine gun and the purgatory that sealed Netero with life. Both Kurapika and Gon are clearly stated to use restraints and oaths in the original work. The first is Kurapika's middle finger binding chain. After locking the enemy, it can force the opponent to enter the state of absolute so that the enemy cannot use Nen. Use, otherwise the heart will burst and die. The second is Absolute Time, which can turn oneself into a hexagonal warrior, and each type can play 100%. The Kryptonian Stream of Life. Kurapika's constraints and vows are easy to understand, but Gon's makes Lin Mo a little confused. Judging from the fact that Gon was lying on the bed in a near-death state and his whole body was dry, the restriction and oath he set should be the forced growth of Krypton in exchange for his life. But the problem is that after Gon was finally rescued by Aluka, he lost his mind again. This is obviously in line with the situation where the oath is broken, and Nen will be destroyed by the reaction. But Krypton's life should not have the reactionary effect of breaking the oath. After all, the reaction is Krypton's life, how can there be a double reaction? Is it because of lack of vitality? So it's like breaking the oath. But shouldn't this be a direct death? Anyway, Lin Mo will not have the problem of lack of vitality, so there should be no need to worry about the destruction of Krypton life Krypton in the end. Summarizing the conditions and oaths established by the two of them first, it is not difficult to see that both of them have one thing in common. The pursuit of power and the ultimate hatred. Kurapika pursues power and hatred of the brigade because of his own lack of power, and Gon also pursues power and hatred of Neferpito. It was these two strong emotions that made them successfully make an oath, 
one obtained the hexagonal warrior template and the BUG level ability to force others into absolute. A power to instantly kill the three guards of the Ant King. Even though Gon seems to have completed the process of restraint and oath within a second, in fact, his resentment towards Neferpedo has existed since the beginning of his powerlessness. It only broke out after it was really confirmed that Kate was dead. This is especially true of Kurapika, whose hatred for the brigade began from the moment he was exterminated. The same goes for the pursuit of power. That's why he pursued the power of Enhancer from the very beginning. From this, absolute time is derived. As for Franklin's two-handed machine gun, it is not explicitly stated in the original that he used the power of restraint and oath. But firing the nobile doesn't require cutting off the finger and reshaping it into the shape of the muzzle. So it is not difficult to analyze that Franklin should have used constraints and oaths. Give up your fingers in exchange for the more powerful power of the bullet. Franklin has no hatred, but there is a quest for power. In the end, Purgatory, who appeared in the final mission of the theatrical version, sealed Netero at the cost of his own life. Although Purgatory does not use thoughts, but resentment. However, the situation of making restrictions and vows with Nien is similar. She made a vow out of hatred for Netero. Combine the above four situations. Lin Mo slowly began to have an idea. Pursuit of power or extreme hatred. Among them, the most sought power is generally to pay the price in exchange for the enhancement of power. The ultimate hatred is specially aimed at a specific target, so that you can get some bug-level ability bonuses when facing this target. Maybe it seems that the price paid by Kurapika's chain of binding of the middle finger is much better than Purgatory. But Purgatory is facing Netero, and it is still mandatory. And Kurapika's chain of binding of the middle finger needs to bind the target first to take effect. Judging from Lin Mo's current situation, the oath he made must be the pursuit of power. But whether it is the pursuit of power or the ultimate hatred, there is a prerequisite, that is, strong emotions. Looks like I'm going to do my old job again. After clarifying the situation, Lin Mo finally knew why no matter how much he swore, it couldn't work. In the final analysis, it is because he is not at all dissatisfied with his Nen. Nen is a very spiritual ability, and Shizuku's bulge is a good example. According to Shizuku's explanation, Popeyes can only absorb inanimate things. But in fact, the bosses who have attended nine years of compulsory education know that whether it is toxin or living blood, it is actually alive. It's just that Shizuku thinks they have no life. In other words, as long as Shizuku thinks that it is inanimate, the Popeye can absorb it. The situation of Lin Mo is the same now because Lin Mo subconsciously thinks that he can increase the power of unlimited spell through restraint and oath. So in fact, Lin Mo didn't have any dissatisfaction with the unlimited spell in his heart, on the contrary, he was very complacent. Consider yourself simply a genius. So his previous vows ended in failure. Sometimes, Lin Mo is really glad that he studied psychology in the first place. All the abilities that I have acquired are related to my own feelings. Fortunately, I know how to hypnotize myself, otherwise all my abilities will be greatly reduced. Closing his eyes, Lin Mo began to mentally construct. With previous experience, Lin Mo quickly found the feeling. Although Lin Mo has always looked like a winner in life to outsiders, he also has areas of great frustration. Such as games. From high school to work, Lin Mollel is still hanging out in the Silver Bureau, and he just can't get on in life and death. Through construction, Lin Mo connects his frustration and powerlessness in the game to his own Nen. Fu Ling Shinji. I, Lin Mo, swear by my life here. From now on, as long as I use the unlimited spell, it will consume a certain amount of life force. The more life, the stronger the attack, and the more life force consumed. Hum, hum. A mysterious and mysterious feeling spread throughout the body. Lin Mo instinctively felt his thoughts, and some inexplicable changes occurred. A thought moves. Nen, unlimited spell activate. I saw that Lin Mo's unlimited technique, which could only barely cover the area of a palm, has now covered Lin Mo's whole body. And from the original superimposed space has also become extremely wide from a length of one meter, Lin Mo can feel that he can continue to extend at any time if he wants. As for the consumption of vitality, Lin Mo did not feel it at all. It has endless vitality, even if it loses 10 billion, it is still infinite. Success. 
Joy flashed across his eyes. After analyzing a lot of data, the successful result is that Lin Mo can be expected. So there wasn't much mood swings. Ah, Lin Mo stretched and stretched his body a little. The next second, Lin Mo was lying on the bed in a big shape. Although Lin Mo was not physically exhausted, the irritability, analysis, psychological construction and self-hypnosis just now made Lin Mo feel mentally exhausted. Take a little rest. Close your eyes and fall asleep in a second. I don't know how long it took before Lin Mo woke up. He glanced at the alarm clock on the bedside table. Pointer to 1523. After Lin Mo stretched his waist, he sat up. The mental fatigue that had been accumulating before had disappeared without a trace at this time. Sleep has always been a great way to relieve stress. Otherwise, the reclining chair will not become a necessary facility for psychiatrists. Squeak. As soon as Lin Mo opened the door, he saw Uvijin sitting against the wall next to the door. Lin Mo, you're out. Seeing Lin Mo come out, Uvijin shouted in surprise. Uvijin, what are you doing here? Lin Mo looked at Uvijin in surprise. Hey, isn't it just my turn to work? Uvijin patted his head a little honestly. Hearing this, Lin Mo already knew. Presumably to be on the safe side, Maki and the others will arrange for someone to guard Lin Mo's door every once in a while. My heart warms, I am worthy of being so good to them. It seems that they really take their own things to heart. After Uvijin shouted so loudly, Maki and Nobunaga also knew the news of Lin Mo's exit. Call out. Both of them came to Lin Mo's room at the fastest speed. Under Uvijin's loud voice, the news of Lin Mo's exit resounded through the entire house in an instant. The moment Maki and Nobunaga heard Uvijin's figure, they came to Lin Mo at the fastest speed. Lin Mo, you're out. Nobunaga looked at the refreshed Lin Mo and said in surprise. You've locked yourself up for five days, and if we hadn't said Maki said she didn't feel anything wrong with you, Uvijin and I would have thought you passed out in there. Although Maki on the side didn't speak, her eyes began to scrutinize Lin Mo the moment she saw Lin Mo. After confirming that Lin Mo was not injured, he breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. Lin Mo was also a little surprised to hear that Nobunaga said that he had been in retreat for five days. What he can feel from his biological clock is about two or three days at most. Unexpectedly, five days have passed. Ahahaha, isn't it? I didn't expect it to be five days in seclusion. Lin Mo smiled awkwardly. After all, it is estimated that more than half of Lin Mo slept in these five days. And they are still waiting at the door of their room 24 hours a day. Let Lin Mo feel a little embarrassed. Lin Mo, how is the result of your retreat? After confirming that Lin Mo is all right, Maki asks her second concern. Oh, this, quite successful. Speaking of his own gains, Lin Mo's eyes couldn't help but a touch of joy rose again. Come on, Uvijin, Nobunaga, didn't you say you wanted to learn from me? Just in time, let's practice our hands. Hearing this, Uvijin and Nobunaga both had burning intent to fight. They wanted to have a look with Lin Mo for a long time, and wanted to know how big the gap between them and Lin Mo was. It's just that Lin Mo was busy developing his abilities before, so how could he have time to play with them? Now that the restriction and oath have just been completed, it is time to test the ability. Although he also guessed Lin Mo's idea of being a test subject, Uvijin and Nobunaga still wanted it. Come, after speaking, the three of them went downstairs to the outdoor space. Lin Mo looked at the two people who were waiting for the battle, and hooked his fingers, come on, let's go together. Uvijin and the others haven't been with Lin Mo for a day or two. They know very well that Lin Mo doesn't look down on them. But it is really not enough to see Lin Mo alone. Weakness is never an obstacle to survival, arrogance is. So the two didn't feel offended by Lin Mo's rhetoric about letting them go together. Nobunaga held the knife with his right hand, squatted slightly, and the thoughts in his body climbed onto the knife along the hand holding the knife. Uvijin concentrated his energy on his right fist, and after the charge was completed, he rushed directly to Lin Mo and threw a punch. Super Destruction Fist Seeing Uvijin begin to attack, Nobunaga's eyes flashed coldly, and he stepped forward immediately, slashing at Lin Mo with a sword drawing technique. Drawing Sword Technique Flash the instant explosive power of the legs, the last one came first, and with Uvijin's attack, the two completely blocked Lin Mo from left to right. Not bad for being old friends all along, 
the cooperation between the two can be called seamless. In the face of the menacing attacks from the two, Lin Mo did not panic at all. With a smile on his face, he stretched out his hands, as if to catch two people's attacks with his palms. Unlimited spell activate. I saw Ubijin and Nobunaga's original ferocious attack, the closer they got to Lin Mo's palm, the slower the speed became. Finally, under the horrified eyes of Ubijin and Nobunaga, they stopped in midair. No matter how hard Ubijin and Nobunaga tried, they couldn't get one centimeter closer to Lin Mo. In fact, if you look at it with a microscope, both Ubijin and Nobunaga's attacks have not stopped, but the movement speed is so slow that it can be ignored. This is, originally, they saw that they couldn't attack Lin Mo, as if there was something blocking them in the air. But it doesn't feel real. Just when I wanted to take it back, I was horrified to find that I couldn't even draw it back. Really can't go in, can't go back, can't go back. Create a dilemma. Nobunaga was better, he was just stuck with the knife, as long as he let go of the knife in his hand, he could still get out of the current predicament. It's just that he didn't move for a while because he was too frightened. But Uvijin hasn't been so lucky in a long time, he used his right fist to attack Lin Mo. Now the entire right fist is fixed in the air by Lin Mo. Unless he cuts off his right hand, he can only be controlled by Lin Mo like this. Well, this is the result of my retreat. The Nen unlimited technique I developed is not very powerful, isn't it? Lin Mo told Uvijin and the others triumphantly like a child showing off his new toy. Hateful, Uvijin has no time to listen to Lin Mo's show now. Uvijin, whose right hand was fixed, was as anxious as an ant on a hot pan. Since you can't use your right hand, use your foot. With a roar, Uvijin began to transfer his breath to his legs. Flow, this is one of the advanced application skills that Lin Mo taught Uvijin during this month. In this emergency, the speed of Uvijin's gas operation is much faster. Uvijin's right foot swept towards Lin Mo with a powerful force. However, to no avail. Just now Uvijin also analyzed that Lin Mo's ability to fix himself was activated in his hands. That is, just attack Lin Mo elsewhere. Unfortunately, what he didn't know was that Lin Mo reached out his hand just because he felt more handsome. After all, being handsome is for life. It can only be said that Lin Mo's gesture of reaching out is too confusing. Lin Mo's unlimited spell covered Lin Mo's entire body 360 degrees from the moment it was activated. So the result is of course self-evident. One more leg was added where Uvijin was held in place. Ha 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 ha, in addition to being fixed, I can do this, hee <laughs> hee. Seeing that Uvijin had another leg sealed by himself, Lin Mo couldn't help but let out a wicked laugh. Of course, the ability that Lin Mo worked so hard to complete must be manifested in front of people, otherwise, will it be in vain soon? So the more urgent they are Uvijin, the happier Lin Mo will be. Lin Mo's gesture changed, imitating the gesture of Trafalgar Law in One Piece when he used transfer. Nobunaga's sword and Uvijin's punches and kicks suddenly changed from being fixed to attacking each other. Boom! As the attacks of Uvijin and Nobunaga collided, the two were instantly blown away by the shock wave brought by the collision. Flutter. Since the thoughts contained in the two attacks were similar, they did not bring any real Shanghai to the two. At most it was a little embarrassing. It's just a discussion now. If he really faces the enemy, Lin Mo will definitely let the attack fall on each other's weak bodies. Cough cough. Both Uvijin and Nobunaga coughed twice as the smoke splashed from the ground. Lin Mo, what kind of ability is this? After getting up, the two asked with wide eyes in horror at the same time. It doesn't matter if you can't attack, but you can't draw it back. It doesn't matter if you can't get it back, can you be controlled by him in turn? Are you kidding me? Watching Uvijin and Nobunaga look aggrieved. Lin Mo suddenly felt refreshed. Sure enough, great strength would be meaningless if it wasn't used to pretend. Unlimited spell. I named it Unlimited Spell. Simply put, it means that I have created a concentrated space in front of me. Although it seems to be only a little distance, in fact, it is so far away. And I can manipulate the direction of anything that enters the space by changing the direction of the space. So you just thought you were pulling the attack back, but in fact it was just because they kept spinning in place. Lin Mo briefly explained his abilities to them with a smile on his face. 
I'm not worried at all about whether the leakage of my ability will bring about any kind of targeting to myself. Not to mention, the people present are people who Linmo fully trusts and will never leak Linmo's information. Even if it really leaked out accidentally, so what? Linmo is full of confidence in his own abilities. Even if it were a contingency, someone would really figure out a way to decipher the unlimited spell. Unlimited spell is just one of Linmo's methods. The real power is always Linmo himself. When you finally broke the defense of unlimited spell, you were about to cheer. You will find out in desperation that you will face an unbeatable monster. Therefore, Lin Mo was not worried at all, and told Uvijin and the others about the unlimited spell directly and generously. This, both Uvijin and Nobunaga looked at Lin Mo with constipation. Let's not say whether they can fight or not, as enhancers, their longing for fighting has always been a head to head collision. Even if Lin Mo knocked them out with one punch, they would still feel invigorated. But playing against Lin Mo felt like a punch in the air, nothing but suffocation. But the problem is that Lin Mo's ability is like this. If he doesn't use his ability, he will be playing for nothing. Uvijin and Nobunaga's long-awaited expectations were immediately chilled by a basin of cold water. Seeing the two of them exuding low air pressure, Maki, who was watching the battle, couldn't help but burst out laughing. Seeing that they did not intend to continue fighting, Maki stepped forward and said to Lin Mo. Lin Mo, Krolo came to you during the few days you were in retreat. Hear the name Krolo. A gleam of light flashed in Lin Mo's eyes. Is the brigade about to be born? He said he wanted to meet you. Is that so? Lin Mo touched his chin subconsciously. I didn't say yes, but I didn't say no. Maki's meaning is obvious, that is, to wait for Lin Mo to make a decision whether to meet Krolo or not. Seeing that Maki and Lin Mo started talking about business, Uvijin and Nobunaga couldn't care less about lying on the ground. After getting up, he also leaned over, didn't speak, just looked at Lin Mo quietly. Waiting for Lin Mo's decision. Whether or not to join the brigade is actually a question that Lin Mo has been thinking about from time to time since he met Maki. It's just that it usually pops up in my mind for a while, and then I don't think about it. Because whether it is the confirmation of its own ability, or the development of Nen. The priority is clearly above that. So I haven't had time to stop and think carefully. Now, now that Krolo has come to the door, it means that Lin Mo must make a break. To join or not to join. As an adult, the first element of thinking about things is definitely interest. First of all, what are the benefits of joining a tour group? The first thing that came to Lin Mo's mind was big and white, and dumb, big and white. Cough cough. Seriously, I have to say that there are indeed a few talents in the brigade that Lin Mo wants to get. Pike Norton, Shizuku and Shalnark. The reason for choosing Pike Notan and Shizuku is really not because they are big and white, and dumb and big and white. But because of their abilities. Pike Noden's Nen memory exploration can not only compulsorily read other people's memories, but also make them into memory bullets and transmit them into other people's minds. With such ability combined with Lin Mo's complete mimicry it will be able to replace someone perfectly. For example, the Fairy Hall or V5, or some high-level executives of Kakin or even princes. Not to mention whether Lin Mo really needs it in the future, at least he can be prepared. Shizuku's words have been said before. Nen is a very idealistic ability. To a certain extent, the more ignorant it is, the more powerful it is. Because the more you know, the more you limit yourself subconsciously. After all, you have to obey what you believe to be the facts. And Shizuku, because of her natural stupidity, caused the Nen convex-eyed fish she developed to be quite buggy in some aspects. As long as it makes her think that there is no life, the bulge-eyed fish can absorb it. Don't forget, what is Lin Mo's old business? He is a psychiatrist. In the face of such a pure-hearted person like Shizuku, it is very simple for him to issue some psychological hints. Although it is impossible to violate the understanding that has been formed before, such as forced twisting makes Shizuku think that human beings are lifeless. But don't forget, the dark continent outside the Hunter World continent. As long as Lin Mo succeeded in leaving the Dark Continent's bizarre disasters without vitality, such a psychological suggestion. Though apparently biological disasters like the two-tailed hellbell won't work. 
However, the three disasters of weapon gold and silver ingots, gas life body Egypt and the immortal disease Zoba AIDS are completely applicable. At that time, Shizuku will be able to sweep the Dark Continent to a certain extent. Although this is only Lin Mo's own unilateral conjecture, Lin Mo confirmed that it is quite feasible. Finally, there is Shalnark. Hum. From Lin Mo's opinion that Shalnark is also a necessary talent, we can know that Lin Mo is really not an LSP. For Shalnark, what Lin Mo needs is not his Nen, but his people. Although Shalnark's Nen, carrying the fate of others, has certain merits, it is simply dispensable for Lin Mo. Even if he can transform into a Super Saiyan, it's the same. What really caught Lin Mo's eye was that Shalnark had excellent intelligence analysis and intelligence gathering capabilities. Shalnark has a high IQ and is proficient in all kinds of knowledge. Polite and calm, he pays more attention to practicality and analysis of details than emotions. It can be said that in addition to the brain of Krolo, Shalnark is the only person in the brigade who can make decisions. Then you look at the people around Lin Mo, Uvijin and Nobunaga needless to say, let them fight is okay, if you let them use their brains, it is better to kill them. As for Maki, it is more emotional than rational. Her sixth sense is really reliable in certain emergencies. But a team cannot rely on the sixth sense for everything. Although Lin Mo is smart enough, he knows the whole plot. But sometimes, while your cognition expands your thinking, it also limits you at the same time. From the moment Lin Mo crossed, the hunter world has begun to change unseen. As his influence grows, so does the storm fanned by his butterfly. How the final trajectory will change is something that Lin Mo cannot observe. Therefore, Lin Mo also needs a capable bystander to assist him. That's why he wants Shalnark. Of these three, Pykonodon is needless to say. Now she is estimated that she has already joined the brigade, and she must not be able to get it. As for the remaining two, Shizuku if Lin Mo remembers correctly, the original book doesn't describe her past too much. The only thing that is known is that she also came from Meteor Street and joined the group to replace the member who was assassinated by Silva of the Zoldic family. Seems to have a good relationship with Franklin and trust Krolo a lot. In this way, she was either recommended by Franklin to join the group, or directly recruited by Krolo. It is definitely unrealistic to find Shizuku in the nearly 10 million population of Meteor Street. And Lin Mo didn't have that much effort. But if you are lucky, you will definitely be recruited into the brigade by Franklin or Krolo. So it can't be recruited either. The same is true for Shalnark and Shizuku. That is, without joining the brigade, then Lin Mo cannot borrow their power. Now that you have analyzed what you can gain by joining the brigade, what you need to consider now is what Lin Mo will lose by joining the brigade. If you think about it carefully, it seems that apart from fame, joining the brigade does not require anything. Phantom Troop has only two rules. The first is that the survival of the brigade is more important than the life of the leader. If the head of the regiment dies, someone else takes over as leader. The second rule is that members can't do it, and if they disagree, they will decide with a dedicated coin. Even if there is a large-scale task, it will only gather idle people. Otherwise, Maki would not have specifically told Hisoka that, it's not just idle people, when he passed the Yukexan action to Hisoka. But to be honest, Lin Mo felt that this sentence was more of what Maki said specifically against Hisoka. Even if not, if Krolo dares to do anything to Lin Mo that disgusts him, kill him and quit the brigade. He believed that even if he did join the brigade, Maki, Uvijin and Nobunaga would always be on his side. No matter what world it is, the right to speak is always on the side with the bigger fist. The only damage that is certain to be done today, then, is a reputation. And fame happens to be the funniest thing in the hunter world. The Zoldic family, the world's number one killer family, can so blatantly turn their home into a tourist attraction. No matter whether it is the Hunter Association or V5, no force intends to encircle and suppress them. Those who come to encircle them are either for fame or profit, or they are hated. None is righteous. It can be seen that the so-called justice and evil in this world is just a fart. In other words, this world is just peeling off the beautiful code of so-called morality. The so-called good and evil are concepts and words created by human beings. And human beings actually use their own creations to surpass themselves, and then call it morality. Isn't this a very funny thing? The more Lin Mo studied psychology, 
the more he could feel the perversion of human beings, and then two days later he found out that he was also a perversion. There is no normal person by definition. When I first studied psychology, there was a must-read book in psychology, The Genius is on the Left, The Madman is on the Right. The more Lin Mo reads this book, the more Lin Mo feels that the mental illnesses written in it all make sense. Those mentally ill people are right. Then Lin Mo will become more and more suspicious that he thinks that he has talked a lot about mental illness, so what is he? Later, Lin Mo realized. After all, there is no good or evil in this world. What most people think is good and what is right is good, and what most people think is wrong and bad is evil. However, what most people think is the real right. Not necessarily, because human beings will judge a thing based on their own interests. Benefits here include, but are not limited to, material and emotional things like money, resources, satisfaction, and fulfillment. Many people do good deeds, do they really expect nothing in return? No, it's just that the reward they seek is not a material one, but a spiritual one. I did a good thing today and I am very happy. I did something bad today and I'm happy. Today I made money and I am very happy. In the final analysis, the ultimate pursuit of human beings has always been pleasure. Everything humans do is to make themselves pleasant. Eating, sleeping, working, earning money, even laughing, drinking with you, things that you don't want to do. These behaviors ultimately lead to an end pleasure. Here, Lin Mo has to admire the sages. As early as thousands and hundreds of years ago, helping others, doing good deeds, and pleasure are linked together. This is what is called attracting people for good. Then gradually form morality step by step. Only then can it evolve into an orderly society step by step. So the question is, can joining the brigade make Lin Mo happy? No doubt. The corner of Lin Mo's mouth evoked a wicked smile, let's meet then. After seeing Lin Mo make a decision, the three of them didn't say anything but nodded. Krolo said that if you're going to see him, you can go to block 13 to find him, or have someone tell him to come over, and he'll be waiting there for a while. Oh, Lin Mo was a little surprised. Krolo's posture turned out to be even worse than he imagined. Is there some reason he doesn't know? Lin Mo thought for a while, then let's go over there. If you call him over, you have to make another trip and there is no need to waste time. Okay, you decide. Lin Mo looked at the sky, it was getting late. It was already past 3 o'clock in the afternoon when he woke up, and he discussed with Uvijin and the others, and thought about it for a long time. The sun has now gone down. Forget it today, let's go tomorrow, let's go back to eat. When it came to eating, Uvijin immediately became active. Pinch. Lin Mo. Why don't we eat that today? That fire, what the pot? Lin Mo has been in retreat these few days, and although he has left a little food in the refrigerator, it is still not very fresh. If it was before, of course Uvijin and the others would still think it was delicious on earth. But now the three people who were raised by Lin Mo's mouth still feel that they are lacking in meaning. Now, after finally waiting for Lin Mo to come out, Uvijin's saliva is about to flow out. Idiot. That's called hot pot. Lin Mo corrected angrily. Okay, I haven't eaten for five days, so I'm just a little thirsty. Yeah, long live Lin Mo. Maki, who was walking behind, looked at such a warm scene, and his heart was also warm. Maki, who had made up his mind to leave Meteor Street whenever he had the chance, felt that it would be fine even if he stayed here forever. It's all about being with. Dot you. Maki gave Lin Mo a sneaking glance. Maki is very clear about Krolo's purpose. He had approached them before Lin Mo arrived and said he hoped they would join his team. Said there was a way to get the elders' permission to go out. It is undeniable that Maki was indeed a little moved at that time. However, due to his prudence, Maki still did not agree to Krolo's invitation the first time. Then, Lin Mo appeared. Since it was Lin Mo's decision to meet Krolo, Maki would of course support him unconditionally. I just hope. Dot you won't affect my happiness now. Krolo. Otherwise, Maki's eyes suddenly turned into a thousand-year-old ice, revealing a biting coldness. Meteor Street, Block 13, North District, in a dilapidated house. Didn't you come today again? A handsome black-haired boy sitting on the stairs put down the book he was reading, glanced at the sky outside the window and muttered. Hey, Krolo, is that guy named Lin Mo really that important? 
Is it worth the fact that a group of us can just stay here and wait for him? Downstairs, a short, fair-skinned man with navy blue hair called out to Crollo, who was sitting on the stairs, impatiently. The golden slender eyes were filled with cold murderous aura. Today is the third day, and a bunch of them don't do anything, just stay in this crappy place and wait for the person named Lin Mo. The short man could hardly sit still. Although I admit that Uvijin and Nobunaga do have two brushes that allow them to gain their recognition and become their leader, Lin Mo should not be too weak, but the question is is he really worth the wait? The man himself is impatient and has a bad temper. He couldn't help but ask again, and his tone was even worse. Krolo didn't care about his bad attitude and got up from the stairs. Unexpectedly, Krolo, who was two years younger than the impatient man, stood up more than ten centimeters taller than him. Krolo gave a mild smile and started walking down the stairs. Faden, Lin Mo's strength is unquestionable. When I contacted Uvijin and the others this time, I found that their minds were obviously activated. The only person who can do this is Lin Mo. And you should have received the news about the change of Uvijin's location during this period of time. All this happened after Lin Mo joined Uvijin and the others. There is no doubt that Lin Mo's ability is what our team needs. It's hard to imagine that such a confident but calm feeling could emanate from a 13-year-old boy. As Krolo walked down each step, the leader-like temperament and personal charm of his body became more and more intense. Maybe that's why several people in the house chose to make Krolo the youngest leader. When the last step was taken, Krolo had also reached the ground floor. Looking at the three people around, Krolo continued to speak in a gentle voice, Franklin, Pykonoden, Faden. It doesn't matter if you don't want to wait, I'll be here alone, you can go back to the station first, we it will be reconciled there later. Hearing this, Faden cast a glance at Pike Norton and Franklin behind him. After finding that they didn't have any hint of action, Faden could only click his tongue unwillingly, holding back his restless heart, humph. Then I'll personally confirm what kind of man Lin Mo is. Indeed, Krolo's words are well-founded, and Faden has a hard time finding anything to refute in his words. Not only is Lin Mo already a nenist, but he can also help Uvijin open their minds. Their combat power is definitely stronger than those of them who have only been opened by Krolo for a few days. Furthermore, no matter what Lin Mo's ability is, it must be a very needed ability in a team to bring such a huge change to Uvijin's location. In the end, as long as Lin Mo was pulled into the brigade, it was equivalent to packing Uvijin, Nobunaga and Maki, who were originally invited by the brigade. There's no better deal than this. Although Faden is also very aware of the importance of Lin Mo to the brigade, his bad character is destined to have no good words for him. Seeing that none of the three had any comments, Krolo pushed open the door and walked out to get some air. Krolo looked up at the moonlight in the sky. He also didn't expect that he was only dealing with the elders for a few months, and he would learn to read. Lin Mo took away the candidate he originally wanted. Although Maki did not agree to his invitation when they contacted him before, Krolo could see Maki's yearning for the outside world. Just learn to read, and then be tempted by the ability to read and the permission to go out. He was confident that they would definitely accept his invitation. I just didn't expect Lin Mo to appear, someone Krolo had never heard of before. When I turned on the thought and came back, I found such a situation. The first thought in Krolo's heart was to kill Lin Mo. Shoot whatever you want. This is the purpose of Phantom Troop, and of course Krolo, who founded Phantom Troop. But this idea was dispelled by Krolo the moment he approached Uvijin and the others. The reason is very simple. Uvijin, Nobunaga and Maki are three people who can't just pick one of them now that Krolo can deal with. Krolo wasn't one of those idiots who couldn't see the difference between us and the enemy. He could clearly feel that there was a rather terrifying power hidden under that calm and unwavering air. They who have been taught by Lin Mo's system are not comparable to Krolo, a rookie who has only just started thinking for a long time. Even Uvijin and the others are so powerful, so how terrifying is Lin Mo who taught them the mind? So Krolo's idea of taking Uvijin and the others over in a split second was over. Since Snatch is not enough, there are only two paths in front of Krolo now. The first is the easiest way to give up. But at present, looking at the entire Meteor Street, there are only a few people who can make Krolo eye-catching. Originally, according to Krolo's idea, he wanted to form a team of 13 people. 
There is really no one who can make Crollo fancy, and it's hard to find six. Ask him to give up three people at once. Crollo is really not reconciled. Then the second way is left, recruiting. It can be seen from the original Yukexan chapter and the actions of the Kuluda tribe that Krolo's character is to do things well. To snatch the underworld auction items, all Uvijin ordered was to kill them all. In the end, even the ten old men were arranged to be killed by Krolo. The same is true of the Kuluda clan, who directly exterminated the Kuluda clan. Since the extremely tough plundering will not work, it can only be recruited in an extremely low profile manner. Anyway, if it doesn't work, What's lost is just some dispensable face. Krolo is not a gangster, he is a thief, and face is not necessary for him at all. Isn't that what Yukashin did in the end? The brigade left a replica of their suspended animation, so the underworld got the face they wanted, and the brigade took the Lizzie they wanted. Don't forget that the replica made by Kube, God's left hand and demon's right hand, can only exist for 24 hours. 24 hours later, the World Underworld did not issue a killing order for the Brigade. Although the death of the ten old men has caused the Underworld to fall into the struggle for power and profit is part of the reason. But more often they maintain the face of the Underworld. As long as the face is still there, then the interests of the Underworld will still be there. Force becomes dispensable. As for the Brigade, you see that Underworld gangs all over the world preach that they defeated the Brigade, and the Brigade is rubbish. Does anyone in the brigade really care? No, such remarks could not stir up any waves in their hearts at all. Face, for thieves, the face that the underworld considers more important than his own life is a fart. That's why Lin Mo feels the bottom of Krolo's stance. Because he is a born thief, he doesn't care about his face at all. As long as you can get Rico, that's enough. Hope everything goes well. Looking at the Xuanyu hanging high in the sky, Krolo couldn't help but mutter to himself. Ah, it stinks. Why does it feel more stinky than before? Could it be that I haven't come out for too long? After getting up in the morning, Lin Mo and his group had a beautiful breakfast before going out slowly, preparing to go to Block 13 to meet Krolo. Due to staying in a station with a 24-hour full-power operation of the air cleaning system for a long time, Lin Mo forgot the harsh environment of Meteor Street for a while. Just a few steps out of the door, he was severely educated by the increasingly strong biological and chemical weapons. Is there, it's a bit pungent, but I feel fine. Uvijin took a sharp breath in confusion. It can be seen that Lin Mo's scalp is numb. Warriors. But Lin Mo realized when Maki and Nobunaga didn't respond. If this body is now dominated by Mo, it is estimated that the reaction should be the same as theirs. After all, the habit of more than 10 years will obviously not be changed by one or two months of life. But now it is Lin Mo, a soul who came from modern society. So after more than a month of diluted memory, Lin Mo regained his original perception. That's why he felt the smell was unusually strong. Lin Mo flipped his hands and instantly manifested four gas masks. Although Ubijin and the others do not have much response to such exhaust gas, inhaling too much is still bad for the body. After throwing one to each of them, Lin Mo quickly put on the mask. Ha, huh, it's alive. Maki and the others all rolled their eyes at Lin Mo. Having lived in Meteor Street for more than 10 years, she is still so squeamish. No wonder such an ability to focus on enjoyment has been developed. They have already listened to Lin Mo's explanation, and the development of Nen is generally related to what those who are capable are pursuing. And what they thought was Lin Mo's Nen was developed right under their noses. It was the original Kobe steak. And what came out after that was basically something related to enjoyment. In terms of combat, Lin Mo was developed based on such Nen. In other words, what Lin Mo pursues most in his heart is to enjoy without a doubt. Hateful. One thinks that Lin Mo's Nen is for enjoyment, while their Nen itself is for the pursuit of power. But the fact that they were not Lin Mo's opponents at all, Uvijin and Nobunaga felt a bit of grief in their hearts. Next time, next time I must be stronger than Lin Mo. Although the two swore so deeply in their hearts, when they thought about Lin Mo's cheating unlimited spell, they felt discouraged. Can we really beat Lin Mo? Question mark question mark exclamation mark exclamation mark. Maki looked at Ubijin and Nobunaga, both of whom were slumped in depression, wrapped around them again. A black question mark with a face. What are these two guys doing? 
The north area of Meteor Street is actually the area where Linmo is located. The 13th block where Krolo is located is only one block away from the 11th block where they live. This 13th block is the one that Krolo has chosen after careful consideration. It won't be too close to cause Linmo and the others to feel oppressed, and it won't be too far so that they can come over as soon as they want. It's a relatively friendly and polite distance. With the determination to be extremely low profile, the Krolo doesn't feel unpleasant in any detail. So Lin Mo and his group arrived at Block 13 not long after. This should be Krolo's temporary residence. I heard that they, like us, swept the entire block aside, leaving only their residence. Looking at the dilapidated house in front of him, Maki explained. After what happened to Oz, Uvijin and Nobunaga wanted to clear the entire block of the team. After obtaining Lin Mo's consent, the two who had just learned to read took only one day to complete the hegemony of the 11th block. Kill all teams on block 11. Oh, is that so? Lin Mo didn't say much, but his eyes flickered slightly. Are you planning to protest against me? No, it shouldn't be. If you want to protest against me, you should choose the 12th block, which is closer to us. This gives me more psychological pressure. And judging from the previous attitude, such a demonstration contradicts the previous attitude. Such inconsistency shouldn't be something a smart guy like Krolo would choose to do. Since it's not a demonstration, it's a show of strength. Was trying to tell me a message, do they have some power too? After all, tigers do not walk with ants. People with power are only friends with people with power. Interesting, squeak. While Lin Mo was still thinking, the door of the house was opened from the inside. The somewhat rotten wooden door made a somewhat overwhelmed sound. Blah blah blah. As the door was opened, there was the sound of footsteps of leather shoes hitting the floor. I saw a handsome young man with long black hair, dressed in a black suit like Lin Mo, walking towards Lin Mo and the others with a smile on his face with his hands in his pockets. Although his face is still very immature, it does not make people feel any contempt for him. The whole body exudes a convincing leadership temperament, and even the suit that looks very cheap will become a little more expensive because it is worn on him. He's Krolo. Maki, who was standing beside Lin Mo, whispered to Lin Mo. In fact, Maki doesn't need to say Lin Mo to know that the handsome young man in front of him must be Krolo. Even Lin Mo couldn't help but admire his black hole-like charisma. If the charm of Gon in the original is that people can't help but side with him and help him. Krolo's charm is that people can't help but accept his leadership and follow his orders. It's hard to imagine that Krolo, who is only 13 years old, already has such a temperament. Just as Lin Mo was looking at Krolo, Krolo was also secretly observing what kind of person Lin Mo was who had taken Maki and the others away before him. Although Lin Mo and several people were wearing gas masks, Krolo still guessed Lin Mo at a glance. Powerful, this is Krolo's first impression of Lin Mo. Krolo, who condensed his chi in his eyes, could clearly feel Lin Mo's thoughts like a prison. Because Lin Mo's thoughts keep increasing every moment. Lin Mo, who can't control it perfectly now, will inevitably leak a breath. Seeing Krolo coming over, Lin Mo and the others also took off the gas masks on their heads. After all, it seems rude to carry this thing. Young. This is Krolo's second impression. Although a few years older than himself, according to Krolo's observations. Lin Mo is about 18 years old at most. Krolo didn't expect that Lin Mo, who is so strong and able to train Uvijin and their minds so well, is not yet 20 years old. With Krolo out, Faden, Pykonaden and Franklin also came out behind Krolo. Lin Mo and Krolo looked at each other. Krolo took his right hand out of his trouser pocket, took a few steps forward again, and took the initiative to smile at Lin Mo and stretch out his hand in a friendly manner. Hi, my name is Krolo Lucifer. Hi, my name is Krolo Lucifer. Seeing Krolo reaching out his hand, of course Lin Mo also smiled and stretched out his hand. He wasn't here to do things today. Hello. My name is Lin Mo. Krolo saw that Lin Mo was so friendly and didn't mean any hostility. The heart that was originally hanging in the air suddenly fell by most of it. First impressions are very important things. If the first impression is a good one, the next conversation will do more with less. Otherwise, it will be twice the result with half the effort. Since Lin Mo has no disgust or hostility towards himself, 
then the next invitation to Krollo is a little more certain. He believed that Maki and the others must have conveyed to Lin Mo what they meant. Since Lin Mo chose to come over, he was very friendly. That means that Lin Mo should also have this meaning. The rest is how to get the two sides to reach a consensus. Thinking of this, the smile on Krollo's face became somewhat sincere. The two shook hands amicably. Krollo pointed to the blonde hair behind him. Although he was still young, he was already very meaningful. With a cold face and short stature, Faden introduced to Lin Mo. Ah, by the way, let me introduce you first, this is Pike Norton, this is Franklin and Faden. They are my team members. Hello. Lin Mo also smiled and nodded to them. Needless to say, Pike Norton and Franklin are very convinced of Krollo. For Lin Mo, who can be so admired by Krollo, he is just curious, not hostile. So he also nodded to Lin Mo. Although Faden had a bad temper, he had a lot of opinions on Lin Mo before meeting him. But it all dissipated after seeing Lin Mo. There is only one reason. Lin Mo is strong enough. People who have been in Meteor Street all year round can grow up as long as they have a certain strength. Basically, the sense of danger is more sensitive. Especially someone like Faden, who looks short and has a bad temper. He can survive, but it's really not easy. Therefore, his sense of danger is not much better than Maki's. The moment he saw Lin Mo, Faden's hair started to stand up. In addition, as I said before, Lin Mo still can't control his breath perfectly. In Faden's eyes, Lin Mo is like a beast that keeps roaring. It directly suppressed Faden to the point of losing his temper. Although I couldn't expect him to have a good face, he nodded to Lin Mo with a stiff face. As for Faden and the others, Lin Mo only cared about Pykonoden. Faden and Franklin had nothing to say. A long-range firepower ADC, an agile assassin who can magnify his moves. For Lin Mo, it is a dispensable existence. After taking a few glances at the two, Lin Mo didn't take it to heart. Hum, Faden's height is already about 155. There's no way to save him, just wait to die. As for caring about Pykonoden, of course it's not because she's big and white, but because she might be able to use her abilities in the future. Speaking of which, Pykonoden is only about 14 now. Didn't expect it to be so meaningful. Although Pike Norton's clothes are not as bold as they were later, Lin Mo's eyes are so vicious. These are all men who have experienced various actual combats in their previous lives. He could see at a glance that her connotation was several times bigger than Maki's. It's a pity that this nose really makes Lin Mo feel a little down. If only Pykonoden's hooked nose could be a little softer. Lin Mo looked at Pykonoden's nose with regret in his eyes. It made Pykonoden a little wonder if there was something dirty on his nose. Gently touched it with his hand. Only Maki sensed something. His eyes suddenly became sharp, looking at Lin Mo's back, his body kept exuding cold air. Feeling the cold air behind him, Lin Mo's heart throbbed instantly. He hurriedly said to Krollo, speaking of which, Krollo, are you looking for me for something? Seeing Lin Mo's direct question, Krollo looked around for a while and suggested to Lin Mo. Mr. Lin Mo, this is not the place to talk, shall we go first? Lin Mo looked at the sky, the sun on Meteor Street was a little bit hotter than usual today. Mainly is a bit dazzling, but the temperature is second. So Lin Mo nodded and said, okay, let's go in and talk, just call me Lin Mo, I'm not that old. Krollo didn't shirk, and responded, okay, Lin Mo, please go first. After he finished speaking, he took the initiative to give up his seat and motioned for Lin Mo to go first. Seeing Krollo's attitude so low, both Pykonoden and Franklin frowned. But in the trust of Krollo, he didn't say much. After Faden felt the danger of Lin Mo, he no longer had any dissatisfaction with Lin Mo. The only truth is that the strong are only respected, isn't it? So he didn't have any problem with Krollo's voluntary move. Because Lin Mo is stronger than Krollo, of course, let the stronger go first. Lin Mo's eyes flickered slightly, and he couldn't figure out what medicine was sold in the Krollo gourd. As a modern person, Lin Mo will never understand what a natural thief like Krollo thinks. However, out of self-confidence in his own strength, Lin Mo followed Krollo's instructions and went straight ahead. And Krollo walked beside him, half a position behind, both courtesy and face, gave Lin Mo enough. 
After entering the house, Lin Mo quickly scanned the whole environment. The classic Meteor Street features a Syrian dumb refugee style decoration. There are some of them, after all, fresh blood remains. It is estimated that it was the legacy of the original owner when Crollo and the others occupied the house. Looking at the tattered wooden chairs in the house that have been pulped for a long time. Lin Mo frowned slightly. From frugality to extravagance is easy, from extravagance to frugality is difficult. If it's Lin Mo when he first crossed, it probably doesn't matter. But now, he doesn't want to let himself be wronged in the slightest. And not incapable, Lin Mo slightly opened his hand to the void, and suddenly a long multi-person sofa was materialized by it. The sofa suddenly squeezed out the broken wooden chair that was originally placed on the ground. Then Lin Mo went to the other side and did the same. Don't mind, I'll help you buy some new furniture. After speaking, without waiting for Krolo to answer, he sat down on his butt. Then he looked at Krolo with a smile, and made a very natural gesture of invitation, indicating that Krolo could sit down and talk. As if this is Lin Mo's territory. In an instant, Lin Mo completed the anti-customer-oriented approach. Since you don't know what Krolo is planning, let's try to see where his bottom line is. Bump, the two sofas that Lin Mo embodied fell to the ground, and the sound even echoed in this confined space. Uvijin, Nobunaga and Maki are clearly used to Lin Mo manifesting something from time to time. So the three of them sat down next to Lin Mo very naturally. On the other side, Krolo and the others were obviously the first time they saw Lin Mo's amazing ability. For a while, he was a little stunned. Soon, Krolo responded. A gleam flashed in his eyes. Lin Mo just realized the whole process of making the sofa out of thin air, and Krolo saw it all. Obviously, this is the Nen developed by Lin Mo. Since Lin Mo's Nen is able to materialize things. Then all the facilities in their station that don't seem to be the products of Meteor Street should have been made by Lin Mo, like these two sofas, directly out of thin air. The original Krolo just knew that the change in their station was brought about by Lin Mo. But I don't know how Lin Mo did it. With his strength, if he wants to be like an elder, it is completely no problem to bring in materials from the outside world. Now Krolo knows, it's all a matter of Lin Mo's use of abilities out of thin air. In this way, Lin Mo's ability is simply a necessary ability for home travel, murder and arson. It's so convenient, no matter what terrain, situation, environment, Lin Mo can realize the corresponding things at the first time. Is there a more versatile team capable than this? Lin Mo, I must get you. Krolo looked at Lin Mo with hot eyes. If the original Krolo wanted to bring in Lin Mo only because of Uvijin, now what Krolo wants most is a talent like Lin Mo. It doesn't matter if they don't join Maki, because they are not irreplaceable. Lin Mo is truly irreplaceable. And Lin Mo himself was completely dumbfounded. What are you doing? I'm so arrogant, can you give me some face and let me see some negative emotions? Why are you still staring at me so enthusiastically? Neuropathy you. Cough cough. What? You sit down, you're welcome. Lin Mo, who was stared at by Krolo a little bit unbearably, asked him to sit down and talk about business. Hey hey hey, Krolo, don't tell me you're such a Krolo. I am a serious harem. Just don't mix in these weird stuff, okay? Ah, I'm sorry, Lin Mo, your Nen is so amazing that I didn't react for a while. After Lin Mo's reminder, Krolo finally recovered and sat opposite Lin Mo. When Pykonoden and the others saw Krolo sitting down, they also sat down. It's alright, Krolo, now you can talk about what you're looking for with me. Back to the topic, Krolo calmed down again. He looked at Lin Mo and asked a question. Lin Mo, have you ever thought about leaving Meteor Street? Lin Mo raised his eyebrows. Leave Meteor Street. Yes, leave Meteor Street. Krolo paused and continued. With your strength, I don't think you would be willing to be trapped in this rotten Meteor Street for the rest of your life. Lin Mo didn't deny it, nodded and said, Indeed, it is impossible for me to stay here forever. In fact, I am already thinking about leaving in the near future. When Krolo heard this, he laughed. Sure enough, I said that a man like you can't be willing to be trapped here. Since Lin Mo, you are already thinking about leaving Meteor Street, then you should be well aware of the awkward position of Meteor Street in the outside world. Without waiting for Lin Mo's answer, Krolo continued on his own. With no status, no identity, or even a name, 
we Meteor Street simply doesn't exist in the outside world, and we, the residents of Meteor Street, are being the one the world has left behind. I have been staying with the second elder during this period of time, and I have gained a lot of knowledge about the outside world from him. The outside world is completely different from our Meteor Street. In Meteor Street, we only respect our strength, kill those who don't like it, and grab what we want. The outside world is different. There are many countries, organizations, associations, and forces in the outside world. The world has already been formulated with many rules and regulations in the hands of these people in power. One can't move that one can't move. If I want to survive in the outside world, there are only two ways, either by obeying the rules they set, giving up our nature and becoming a slave under the rules of others. Speaking of which, Krollo looked around at everyone. Except for Lin Mo, everyone else narrowed their eyes, exuding a murderous aura. They are people of Meteor Street in life, and they will be the nourishment of Meteor Street when they die. We don't reject anything, but don't even think about taking anything from us. Now it is a dream to even delusionally take away their freedom and make them submit to the rules of others. This is the people of Meteor Street, even if they are not as good as wild dogs, they still retain their blood as a person of Meteor Street. And this is also the reason why the major elders unanimously blocked the exit from Meteor Street to the outside world. That's because, except for a small number of Meteor Street residents who would choose to give in for their lives, most of them would rather die than give in. And once something happens in the outside world, Meteor Street is responsible for paying the bill. Either choose another path. Next words, Krollo said word by word, an enemy of the whole world. After speaking, Krollo looked at Lin Mo quietly, waiting for his response. Lin Mo didn't refute Krollo's words, and in fact there was nothing to refute. Those who go out from Meteor Street really only have these two choices. You're right, we really only have these two paths to go. Then, Lin Mo, when you were thinking about leaving Meteor Street, which way did you plan to go? Krollo continued to ask Lin Mo's eyes. This time, not only Krollo and the others, but Uvijin, Nobunaga, and Maki were all staring at Lin Mo, expecting his answer. Hee hee, don't test me, Krollo. In the expectant gaze of everyone, Lin Mo let out a burst of laughter. Of course my choice is. Lin Mo's mouth twitched, and he smiled evilly, I am an enemy of the world. Uvijin, who had endured for a long time without speaking, couldn't help laughing wildly after hearing Lin Mo say the answer he wanted. Ha 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 ha, I knew, Lin Mo, you will definitely choose to be the enemy of the world. I just said, a man like you, Lin Mo, will definitely not choose to submit to those outsiders. Krollo gave Lin Mo a small compliment. It's the same with me. I don't go out to the outside world to be someone else's slave. If I can't live according to my own wishes, I'd rather die. Krollo said this very calmly. But the problem is, compared to the whole world, our individual strength is too weak. So you're going to form a team, aren't you? Lin Mo added the last sentence to Krollo. Krollo didn't care about Lin Mo's interjection. Nodding. Yes, those of you who have been living in Meteor Street should also know that the power of an individual is limited, even in this remote corner of Meteor Street, let alone the whole outside world. So I plan to form a larger team. With the strength of the team, this will at least make us less passive in the outside world. So, this time I invited you, Lin Mo, to come here, just to invite you to form a team together. I don't know, what do you think? After that, Krollo looked Lin Mo's eyes directly, waiting for his answer quietly. From the very beginning, Lin Mo's expression remained the same, and Krollo couldn't figure out what Lin Mo was thinking. Let's form a team, Lin Mo said slowly. In principle, I agree, but the problem is. The positioning of the team, the rules, and, a question of leadership. As soon as he opened his mouth, Lin Mo directly pointed out three key issues. Faced with these problems of Lin Mo, Krollo was well prepared. For Lin Mo, Krollo never took it lightly from the beginning. As for the positioning of the team, I have also considered it for a long time before, and finally combined with the behavior of our Meteor Street, I think the definition of thief is very suitable for us. Go to the gun if you want, do what you want, we don't reject anything. But don't even think about taking anything from us. In the second half of the sentence, Lin Mo and Krollo said it in unison. After the two smiled at each other, Lin Mo agreed. 
Crollo, I have to say, the position of Rogue is indeed very suitable for those from Meteor Street, so what about the team's rules next? In my vision, the team has no rules. The purpose of my team is not to make the team members become subordinates and act according to my wishes, but to use the strength of the team to accomplish what we want to do when our individual strength is insufficient. Thing. So there is only one rule for the team, and that is not to attack each other. After hearing Krolo's answer, Lin Mo shook his head. Of course your assumption is correct, but what if there is a conflict within the team? Have you ever thought about such a problem? Of course there is, but at present, the conventional solution is to use force, which will violate the first rule, and the second is to vote, but this will lead to the division of the team into small groups, neither of which is the result I want to see. It seems that Krolo has not thought about the method of tossing coins, or the method itself is not proposed by Krolo. An inexplicable smile appeared on Lin Mo's face. I know this too, so I have a proposal, what do you think? When there is a conflict of opinion among the members, we can use a coin to decide the ownership of the matter. What do you think? This method is purely based on luck, and no one should have an opinion. After hearing Lin Mo's suggestion, Krolo's eyes lit up. It is indeed a good way to neither hurt the peace nor lead to the division of the team. If you lose with bad luck, although you will still feel unwilling, you can only blame yourself for your bad luck. Krolo said excitedly. It's really a good way, so if you form a team, the rules are just these two. Then there is one last question left now. Leadership of the team. This time it was Lin Mo's turn to stare at Krolo. Although Krolo has expressed his desire for Lin Mo in a series of behaviors before, he even hesitated to be so low profile, and it can even be said to please Lin Mo. But Lin Mo does not believe that he will give up the leadership of the brigade at any cost. Faced with this question from Lin Mo, Krolo is obviously not as calm as before. After being silent for a while, Krolo said quietly, before answering this question, let me talk about how I obtained the power of mind which has already been approved. Lin Mo didn't say anything, just spread his hands, please start your story. Actually, I made a deal with the second elder. As soon as Krolo said this, Faden exploded before Lin Mo could react. Krolo, I've never heard of such a thing. Faden's slender golden eyes glanced sharply at Krolo. I don't know what Faden has experienced in his hometown before, he has quite a disgust for the so-called power class. Although Meteor Street is already the place with the least class, the existence of the elders can indeed be regarded as the power class of Meteor Street. Krolo gave Faden a reassuring look, and continued, I wonder if you've heard of a weapon, the poor man's rose. Um, Lin Mo's eyes immediately changed from listening to the story to awe-inspiring. How can it be related to the original work that can kill the Ant King with one shot, the Rose of the Poor? The poor man's rose is a low-cost, cost-effective bomb. Although he can destroy everything with the power of the explosion, the most terrifying thing is not its explosive power, but the resulting explosion, toxins. That is an extremely terrifying toxin. A single rose once caused a record of 120,000 deaths. With the emergence of the rose of the poor, all countries in the outside world are now starting to develop weapons that are more powerful and have radiation or large-scale toxins, so the question is, do you think that in the process of developing these weapons, the nuclear weapons produced by them where will waste and infectious substances be disposed of? Exclamation mark exclamation mark. The pupils of everyone present shrank violently. This time even Lin Mo did the same. This is information that he did not know in the original book. Meteor Street. Lin Mo spat out these three words with an ugly face. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.